Just roll the dice, take the leap. Trust in your luck and you'll see. There's, There's magic, magic and wonder if you just follow me. Unlock the store with your key. Imagination works best when it's set free. Just roll the dice and trust in your strength and fall. You'll be joined by new friends. The adventure begins now. Who knows where it is? Get out your pins, magic bands, bags, and flashlights. Let's start tonight's story. Right, it's a new world plus. While we wait for a bus, the adventure begins now. Just follow us. Just roll the dice and. Welcome to WDWNT, the RPG, a tabletop-style role-playing game set in and around the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. My name is Tyler, and I am the Goat Master for tonight. I will be telling our crew what they are seeing and how well their actions or chaos proceed. So what's going on tonight? We're deviating away from our regular group of freelance adventurers because there's a party going on in Animal Kingdom, and our cast of players are all cheeky little goats. It's time for Tubbs' Goat Crashers! Woo! Welcome, everybody! Is everybody excited for tonight? Woo. Let's meet our cast Woo. of players. Yes. We are... We are... That's Cut away from Thailand. There we go. <laughs> you hit the button. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Tonight, you are all cheeky goats and you want a party. The problem is, there is only a party being held by humans in Dinoland, USA, and they don't want goats to ruin it. But to hell with them. You're going to get inside by any means necessary and have the best time. On tonight's show, we have Allison, Thomas, Hello. Shannon, Alicia, and Ben. Welcome, everyone. Woo. Thank you. We did it. <laughs> now, before the game starts, we had our cast randomly assign or specifically assign what type of goat they are, a special skill of sorts, their favorite goat thing to do, and an objective for them to do at this party. So let's go around one by one and everyone can introduce who they are, what their names are, and what type of goat they are. Let's start with Allison. All right. So my name is Leia, uh, more specifically Princess Leia. Um, I am a pygmy goat known for their, of course, smallness. Uh, one of my uh, favorite things to do is uh, headbutting things. And if I had to do anything at a party, my preference would be to, of course, hobnob with the rich and famous. And I'm sure we'll go across that. Rich and famous people having a party in, like, the sleaziest designed part of Animal Kingdom. I mean, like one of the so. ride rehab uh, specials. <laughs> <laughs> Well, speaking of writer, you have Thomas Kiernan. Hello. You used my full government name. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even though we already know, tell us about Tubbs. All right. Well, this iteration of Tubbs, uh, he's, uh, he's quite charismatic. Uh, uh, and uh, his favorite thing to do is uh, disrespect physical barriers. They mean nothing to him. <laughs> um, and... Uh, what uh, Tubbs would like to do by the end of this session, or by the end of the party, is make a big speech to all the uh, various mammals around. At the party. At the party, yes. <laughs> all right, and moving on to the spoopiest one, Cinnamon. Yes. Shannon, who is Cinnamon? <laughs> well, you know, um, when... <laughs> Well, First of all, I want to say that, that the artwork was not, when the artwork was shown to me, I did not intend to 
like play the black goat in the red flannel, but then that's not <laughs> how it works. So I did wear red flannel. <laughs> um, it's perfect. So, um, you can call my goat cinnamon. That's not their true name because they are a satanic goat and they are into the occult. And they know that letting someone know their true name, you know, gives them power over you. But the cast members at Affection Section have dubbed me Cinnamon. So that's just, I guess, what I have to go by. Um, my favorite thing to do is bleat loudly. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see how many times I can do that without laughing. Um, and I really want to dance with an heiress at this party. <laughs> one of the Disney heiresses at Dinoland USA. Um, maybe to collect her soul. Um, we'll see. We'll see what, how it shakes out. All right. <laughs> Alicia. I don't know down. how to follow oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't compare. Uh, so I'm playing Keely, and I'm a, I'm a small goat. I'm a pygmy, just like Leia. Um, I love to stand on things. It's my favorite thing to do. And uh, what I really want to do at this party is be interviewed by the Tattler, uh, who's like a, a big company, apparently, that's going to be at Dinoland USA. And so that that's what I want to do at the party. Also, I'm a... Oh, oh, that's the wrong way. Nope, that's the right way. I don't... The Bueller is my one. brother. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, directions are hard. You're over there. Directions are hard. <laughs> you just make the L's with your hands. Um, we, we found out. And then if the it's shoulder, the my if, left if, and my right. And, if this is yeah. left, then you go this way. <laughs> you just do Fine. the opposite. Speaking of Bueller. 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 I think he's sick. Bueller. <laughs> is that the voice you're doing the whole time? No, no, it's not. No. <laughs> that is me doing the voice of that character from that movie. No, Bueller's voice is going to be mine because I'm bad at voices. So that's how that's working. Okay. Uh, also, you tell me that's not what a goat sounds like. Um, a little bit. So, uh, my, my goat's name is Bueller. Uh, he is a mountain goat who uh, enjoys climbing and standing on things. Uh, so, uh, I, have, I have a feeling that uh, we, we might have some, uh, some tiny goat on big goat on bigger thing action going on tonight. Oh. Um, I don't know how that got that reaction, but okay. Uh <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know why Alicia looks like she just saw something horrifying. Um, <laughs> oh, well, okay. and that uh, is our cast. My my my, oh, my goal in life uh is to finish my character introduction. I mean, recreate Die Hard. <laughs> um, believe it or not. That is my favorite movie of all time, and I would love nothing more than to end up getting in front of a camera at this party. And recreating a scene from Die Hard and having some agent find that. That's great. It's a great thing. All right. All right. So before, uh, of course, my pencil's not working. All right. So we got everyone's characters. Now let's set the scene. You are all goats at Rafiki's Planet Watch. Oops. You're all goats at Rafiki's Planet Watch. You hear there's a killer party happening right now in Dino Land, USA. So let's go to the affection section. So working together, you want to all get there and do your thing without getting caught and sent back home. Now there's a bunch of stuff at the bottom of the screen and we'll go over that as it comes up. But you're at Rafiki's Planet Watch. You're in the affection section. So I guess start planning. Uh, what time is it right now? Yeah. The time are, are there people in the park still? <laughs> yeah. What do we know? Probably. What time is the party? Do we know? It is it is it is currently uh sunset. Dawn <laughs> dawn. Dusk. It's currently no, dawn is the morning. It's currently dusk. The sun is going down, uh, because this is only a half day park. Guests are already starting to kinda leave. There's a few guests here and there, but at this point security is just trying to make sure that people are making their way towards the exits because this private party going on in Dino Land, USA. Hmm. How do we I, know about this party? 
Yeah. Uh, you, you, you've heard from guests who are talking around ah. uh, the the keepers <laughs> that uh, run everything at the affection section. Have been chatting about it. They they said that there's some kind of party, and no one, of course, no one knows that they're always privates of private events, and anybody, not anyone, could just go in. Um, which I guess you guys might be doing. <laughs> hmm. So since it's kind of like it's kind of towards the end of the day, um, are there like how many I guess keepers are around at this at this point since we're starting to close up? Uh, around the affection section. Yeah. There is right now. There's one keeper. Uh, they're mm -hmm. just walking around making sure guests are sort of filtering out. You know, no one is currently coming in to pet the goats. Um, there are some people hanging about just outside. They're probably waiting for, like, a character drawing experience to finish up in the main area, and they didn't do it because they could follow YouTube videos of how to draw at home. Um, so, yeah, there's just uh, there's one keeper, Trent, who's currently watching over you. Hey, Bueller. I feel yeah. like we should practice, like, your favorite movie and, like, we cause a distraction of grand, a yeah, a, a giant diehard, you know, distraction. Like, we practice okay. and, right. and we, we get the, the, whatever his name was, Trent, uh, you know, the others can escape and we'll, we'll follow after him. Mm. <laughs> okay. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> and since Tubbs makes a mockery of physical barriers, I, think I was that... about to say, yeah. uh, uh, hmm, what's the best way to go? Hmm. No, if we need to go to where, to where the humans are, if that's where the party is, Tubbs is going to try and, uh, 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 hang on, what is it? What's our, what's around the uh, the affection section the, the fence fence wise fence wise we got the there's like a little seating area sorry that is the wrong thing <laughs> fence wise there's the there's like a seating area there's all these cages there's Ooh. double cages to get in and around uh, there's like a little stage that um, they sometimes bring animals onto uh, like that one time Tubbs was filmed waving at us because he was alive. Uh, <laughs> he is alive. Confirmed. He is alive. And there, he, he is, is still alive. alive. Yes. There is, there's also like the entrance to like pens mm. and other areas for other animals uh, that can come and go throughout that area because they do bring certain animals up on stage. Like there's there's that corn snake. I don't think they bring the snake out, but there's Willie, the red bar. There's a bunch of other people. People, animals, sorry. All right. Well, do we do we want to do the... this now, or do we want to wait until um, we are transferred inside? We because... must do this as soon as possible. The well, humans yeah, will not yeah, wait do for us. Right do it soon, or do we want to wait until we start to get transferred, and then we mm. can kind of like gates mm. are open, kind of. I don't. I mean, or we could do it as soon as possible because time is of the essence. It is, it is already party. sunset. The humans party uh, once the sun goes down. I know this from the sounds I hear from the mystical lands of Epcot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have really good uh, hearing, Tubbs. Tubbs, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 he, uh, uh, or from the, Tubbs knows this from the, the fire lights that come every night. Uh, the humans party then. Um, uh, but Tubbs is going to find the weakest point of the, the sort of fenced barrier, and he's going to try and gnaw through enough of it to make an opening for the goats. Oh my. Okay, so do I add two extra die because this is something I'm good at, or something I like doing? Well, well, just just one moment, because as, as you're planning, um, oh, no. Willie the Erdvark actually waddles over and he goes, Oh, hey kids! Hey kids, what's up? I was just pushing dirt around my the, the, my pen to add a third oh bathroom God. to my to my underground house when I heard you all whispering and being secretive. What, what's going on? Mind your own business, Willie. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, why, why do, why Everyone loves getting... you more than us because you're so an good. aardvark. Oh please, those two Canadians love you more than me. <laughs> 
One of them Canadian didn't. One Canadian. of them probably doesn't even know who I am and had to look up a picture of me on Google. <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you get over? How did you? Well, we've never seen you here before. Oh, well, you know, I'm good at digging. Don't tell anybody. I kind of like uh, Shawshank Redemption myself through the through the ground. <laughs> It's, oh, like, it's, one, it's yeah. not exactly it's hard, it's hard on their lair. <laughs> not, not my favorite, but it's, that's a good one. I like that. <laughs> Did you, we can make oh, yeah, it. You want a party? <laughs> Is there a party? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> there is a party happening. The humans are throwing it. We were going to crash it. Well, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I. Oh God, I could never do that. I'm way too shy to go to parties. But I'll tell you what: if, you, if you're gonna, you know, leave and come back, just bring me back like a Dole Whip or something. I love cream. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. think they serve those here. They, oh, they do. You want to make a? Do you want to make a deal for this Dole Whip? Like you give me something. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to like give me like your soul you, or you something? To, <laughs> you want me to bribe you? I don't understand. I'm just asking yeah. you for a favor. You know, we, we, the animals gotta stick together. I thought I thought we were all friends. Are we not friends? No. <laughs> it's kind of us against you at this point. <laughs> what, what, what I, do you mean? Why, first, folks, we gotta. Have, did you guys hear that? Are we starting? We could. Wait, guys, we, 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 all I'm asking we, is, okay, an ice cream sandwich. Could you at least bring me one of those? We could probably Very get well, you, we will like, bring you your foul. <laughs> like is, that? is that Look. the name of the ice cream sandwiches? I don't remember. Folks, folks, we can, you I'm know, you this bar. It's on the stick. Oh, yeah. Or do you want Sorry, an ice cream sandwich? That. Uh, anything, any cream. I, I'm good with anything. Sounds good. Any cream. Um, I, any kind folks, of cream. I think we should use this Ardworks tunnel to help us help us oh. pull this yes. bicycle stand. It will be much softer oh. on my That's feet. Really oh man, I could, I could, I mean, I could help you. What, what do you want me to do? What's the plan here? Uh, how? Be... Well, let me think. So, an Ardvark is. Not too far from goat sized, especially pygmy goat sized. So I think oh, yeah, that maybe. I, I am equal to the size of you, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> A lot some 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 humans might not 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 be too familiar. I mean we <gasps> us goats have never really seen a an aardvark either very much. Leia. But, we yeah. should take his tunnel yeah. and then I mm -hmm. stand on you. And then we get the others out. Oh. Could you so could you unlock of... the gate from the other side? I'll use my teeth because you because you push because from the other side you push. Yeah. The gate in the gate the 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 gates kind of push inward towards affection sections area. So once we oh, get you out, want, you won't easily need to push climb the under the dig a hole under the fence, and then I could open the gate from the other side. You mean? Yeah, we can just we can just push it. Yeah. If oh you're willing to help us out, yeah, as long we'll if you're gonna, if you, yeah, if you, I mean, I thought that was just gonna be a handy favor, but if we do want to trade favors back and forth, then, I, then absolutely. Okay, okay. Um, I guess uh, somebody needs to like distract Trent, and then I'll kind of hop under there and and <laughs> and get it get it going for you. Then I think this which, is dealer's up big opportunity. Brother, which part are you brother. thinking? I don't. This is oh, this is all you. Mm. The more explosions, the better. How many explosions do you have with you? Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, what? <laughs> thank you, thank you for saving me from having to also go. Uh. <laughs> How many explosions do you have on you? Like it's just. I don't know what he has. <laughs> My out of character question is: How has Bueller seen Die Hard? Don't, don't well, they, they've had it. they've had it on the then TVs in the break <laughs> rooms, and you can kind of see in there from the pen. Okay. And so I've just kind of like, you, you thought it was real so weird that I just sat in that corner heart. for an hour and a half, staring down the hallway. But no, I was watching a movie. 
<laughs> Normally, they make all the animals watch Disney movies, but every now and again, the cast members feel a little sorry for them, so they put on a different movie for it's, them. It's like <laughs> there's no Disney music in the Utila doors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Watch so the before you actually course. start, there is Disney music in the Utila doors. Before you actually start doing anything, here's here's how tonight is going to work, or how doing an action is going to work. Any risky action you do, you will roll 2d6, and that will be your base, as seen down here. Um, if your action ties into your goat skill, like occultism, <laughs> then you can add an additional 2d6s to roll. So you can roll four dice. But if your action also ties into your favorite goat thing to do, like dancing, then... Um, or sorry, bleeding loudly. <laughs> no one has dancing, but that would have been awesome. Then you can roll <laughs> six d6s. So you can potentially roll a total of six. Any ones that are four and up are a success. So if you don't roll any four and up, then you failed horribly. If you get at least one die that is above a four, then you could just use some help. And if you get two dice over a four, then you're successful. So the more dice you roll, the better chance you have of succeeding with your action. So think carefully about what you want to do and if you can tie it into your other goat things that you do. Um, so yeah, what, what's, who, who, what's the destruction going to be? I, I feel like we have two options. Okay. We can just be really cute and adorable and just like mm. try and distract them that way. Or we go the die hard route. And I'd really like to go the die hard route. But they're I'd just like expecting to us to be adorable. Like we've got to do something more interesting that's if we're going to actually distract them. That's the thing. They're used to our adorableness. That's, um, that's fair. So I'm here, always adorable. here's what I'm thinking. Uh, yes, you, you remember that one scene in Die Hard where the the body goes down the elevator, the the doors open, and Hans peers in, and one of his his uh, cronies is dead in the elevator, and written on his chest is "Now I have a machine gun, ho ho ho." So, so what I'm if I'm a, on board like for whatever here. you're about to say? So what? <laughs> hold, what hold if, on. Okay. Out of character, Ben and I wrote this backstory probably about a week ago. <laughs> it's not longer. I have not watched Die Hard. I did not look it up from, from like in advance for this. So anything yeah. you say, I'm gonna go with, or I'm gonna make it even worse. So. Yeah, so, that's where we're at with my diehard knowledge. That's fair. I should have watched it before this, but I'm just going off of memory, but I've seen it a half dozen times, so well, that's we're good. Gonna You've got see this. how it goes. We've um, got this. But what I'm thinking here is, what if we did that, except I don't have a machine gun. I have a way out now. So what if... One of the we, we got one of the pygmy goats, probably you, because you're 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 it, good with me on this stuff. We know how this yeah, works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we've done this before. Um, so I'm I'm just gonna uh scribble on you. Uh, it's gonna probably not be legible by humans. Like that's I don't, I don't care. Yeah. But I'm I'm gonna We're write on, uh -huh. right on you now. Now I have a way out. Ho ho ho. <laughs> you go in a corner and just kind of like. Stand on top of a thing and fall off, like you just kind of, like, bleh. They'll come over, look at you, try and figure out what's going on. Meanwhile, the rest of us are leaving. Once we're out, you can take the Aardvark Tunnel and sneak out that way, because you don't need to use the gate because you're small. I like the Wasn't way you're thinking. going to open the gate for you from the other side? <laughs> No, this well, is yeah, but then they're going to see all of us running out through the gate. Yeah, yeah. It's a goat stampede. She needs a way to get out while we're okay. getting out. Well, they're going to be looking for all of us. They're going to leave as soon as they notice we're gone to try and find us. And then she leaves. Yeah. We're the distraction the to get her out. It's too bad that, yeah. they, that there, there's only one guy, almost, because if there was a second zookeeper... Then if all of us were gone, then the other one would think, oh, I guess this other guy just transferred them all. And they, you know what I mean? So they, like, hopefully there's a way to make him think that, oh, we just got transferred. And he just didn't see us getting transferred. And then he wouldn't yeah. even At realize. At that discussion, a second keeper walks out. <laughs> 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 Her name's oh. Kimberly, and she starts chatting with Trent about what happened on WandaVision last month. So maybe they'll last just talk month. to each other, and we can go. They just, uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> While they're distracted, we could break their legs and take their passes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with that. Tops is not against this. Tops <laughs> is very oh, no. aggressive. Tops is so no, aggressive. These that's humans that's a scene well from Die Hard now. where uh, Bruce Willis broke everyone's legs. I like this. <laughs> okay, the, when, the, the scene when is a little bit further out, down. When we get out of this area, which way are we going? We have we to should... take the train, right? Right. Yeah, we do. Okay, then we'll go to the train. Is there no other Die hard on a train? No. Ooh. Not unless the train's broken down, because then they have buses. But I don't Is know if that would like be any easier. Is there like a train fight, like on top of a train in Die Hard? Can we do Is something there... on a train? There ain't no trains in Die Hard. There's elevators, but there ain't no trains. That's the same thing. It just goes in the other. <laughs> That's not the same thing! <laughs> you, oh my god! <laughs> You're gonna tell me that a train and an elevator. Either an elevator or a train is. It's like a great class oh, elevator that moves left and right. You guys, we should. All of, all of you. Of all of you are just heathens. What? Complete heathens. Kimberly is not daring to do the trance. <laughs> we need well, we to go. Let's, we let's get out of here. Let's just do yeah, this. All right, let's, let's just go. Now or never. Just do it, yeah. Let's just do How it. do we do it? it? What do we, are we okay. walking out the like door? Like this arc doing most of the work. Yeah. All right, my aardvark friend. <laughs> I, 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 said, I said I was gonna I was gonna dig a hole and I was gonna go. He's been standing here the whole time just watching you guys <laughs> try and figure out what you were doing. Uh, he's like, I'm gonna dig a hole and then I'm gonna open up the gate and then one of you was just gonna distract. Kimberly and Trent, or so all of you could distract them. I don't know. Whatever you were gonna do, <laughs> they're gonna do Die Hard to distract Kimberly and Trent. Yeah, this makes more they're, sense. They're now. gonna do Die Hard. Okay. <laughs> Even though what Die Hard is, is he doesn't know to Die Hard. <laughs> okay. I only know he's gonna go over to the water trough and fall off. And they're going to go check on Keely, and while they're doing that, Keely. we're going to run out the gate. Okay. And then they're going to see us running. That's part of the plan. They have to see. And then they're going to run over, close the gate, and then try to come get us. Maybe they won't close the gate because they want to get us back in. I just... That doesn't matter. They're going to go try to get us, and while they're trying to get us, Keely's going to get out <laughs> the Aardvark tunnel. <laughs> He, he gets to the other side and he pushes the door open. So you can now freely walk out. He, he gets to the other side and he pushes the door open. So you can now freely walk out. Except, uh, what is what is Keely gonna do? And I'm gonna need uh, you to roll for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, do I want to go over? Like, were you gonna push me over? Was that the Bueller? Bueller. Yes. This is teamwork, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Yeah. I'm gonna push you off. Okay. Gosh, this is. Oh no, this is gonna look more like the final scene of Die Hard. We're starting gonna, from, the, gonna from fall the bottom in slow we're motion the the off the water trough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Keely walks over. Bueller is beside her. You wanna okay. give me a boost? Boost. Give me a boost. And I guess I'm gonna roll to stand on. Bueller, right? Goatmaster? So, if you are rolling to do an action related to what your thing is, so you have two, you roll as a base, and if you're standing on top of something, you're gonna add another two. I'm something. Okay, okay so I don't have so, to roll to stand on him. Got it. No, you're gonna, you're gonna roll for how that. this whole thing works. This whole thing. Alright, that's all you. So roll so four d sixes and then tell me how many of them are a success. Uh, success is over four, correct? Four, yes. five, or six. Right. Yeah. One. <laughs> one. You only got one die. Mm. Uh, well, I got one out of four. <laughs> one okay. Okay, so oh, wait, you're, wait, you're wait, stumbling. Don't I get an additional two? Don't I get an additional two? Because I'm standing you four. Nice. Oh, oh you okay. Yeah, yeah then one success. Yeah. Unless you were also gonna relate your smallness to getting on top of Ben. I'm I am bigger. Relate, uh, he is bigger than me, so I've gotta 
get my little goat feet up onto him and... Uh, and <laughs> okay, yeah. roll two more die and we'll see if you add, <laughs> get another one of these. Two successes! There we go. Yay. Okay, you're able to climb on top of him. And Kimberly and Trent walk over and they're like, ah! what? All right, what are you ah. doing? What are you two doing? Have you ever seen this before? Ah, what? Ah, I don't ah, know. No. What no, are they doing? No. Like I, I bugged Kimberly. Right? No. I like just and full I'm... on like. You no, what? No. <laughs> like I, I, I buck <laughs> and flick ke flip <laughs> Keely off my back onto the ground. I fall in super slow motion, but it looks amazing because I'm like a people go <laughs> and everyone loves me. So like my, my no. hair and my fur is just blowing in the wind. And then I land. And the rest of us are running out. <laughs> Everyone's running out as mm -hmm. as the two keepers see uh, Keely now like squirming on the ground like a turtle who can't get up. Um, they start <laughs> to run in the, towards the other gate, like the service gate closer to where they do the transfers. Um, so I think now might be your primal primal chance. Your your good chance of getting out that gate. And then and then run, I say to you because I'm assuming you're leaving. <laughs> Don't yes. forget me. I Are you won't. staying? I have to stay, I'm assuming, and then I'm gonna take the Aardvark tunnel was the yeah. unless oh, so okay. much chaos. Yeah, because you're small. We're gonna get there. You can just Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everyone else gets out. Yeah. We Willie all run. shuts the gate. <laughs> Willie shuts the gate. Um climbs back through the hole and uh, um starts uh, goes up to the I goes up to the two eyeballs. keepers like, at the gate who are like, and, and Willie's like, D -d 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 -blah. <laughs> <Our part plays>. <laughs> <laughs> snort, the <laughs> weeds. Uh, and then they start, they start worrying more about, um, they start worrying more about Willie. And Willie looks back at you and goes, you better get me that ice cream, you guys. <laughs> You'll get your foul human treat, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Count Keely, you now have a you now have a means of escape. Can I can I take I slowly like crack an eyeball and I look around and I'm like, okay, and I like crawl through the tunnel using my pygmy smallness. And I hope to reach the other end. Do I <laughs> uh, you don't need to roll for that. You're you can okay. climb through a hole. You're good. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm a good goat. So now you're all you've all escaped congratulations we're running to the train so yeah now you're so to give everyone an idea of where you are you are at the very oops you are at the very top uh there in that tiny box where it says rafiki's planet watch there's a train that leads you to africa um and then dino land usa is on the very bottom right of that map so i think the question now is what's now what is your plan hmm I see, we just well, get on the train. train. Run. No, I guess that's what we were doing. And here. as far as my goatly brain understands, this train just goes back and forth on its own. So we're mm -hmm. just going to get on and it's going to move. <laughs> it's like a and funicular railway, I believe. <laughs> maybe we can use our occultist goat to mm. uh, figure something out with that train. Okay, so maybe we, you have to give the do train we get something. to the train? Are we at the train? What's happening at the Did train? Did we make it to the train? Is there Is anyone this the there? Tell me if you, are, if you are walking towards. The, oh no, we're running. If you're walking towards the train we station. are running towards. Okay, the train. we are so running to the train station. I am on you're the all... train if I can be. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, before before we go so on. Fast. Uh, Everyone might be wondering what the chaos pool is. Um, so obviously you all have your skills, which we've demonstrated already. However, if your skills fail and you are too loud or disruptive, I will add a die to the chaos pool in a spooky green color. Um, if this reaches six dies, you're all going to get taken back to Rafiki's Planet Watch. So don't let it get up to six. However, you can make the number go down once once tonight, each of you only once can choose to party hard by taking all the dice in the chaos pool and adding it to your roll. So maybe it's a good thing that there are some extra dice pooling up there, but it's also mm -hmm. bad because you could just completely get reset back to where you were. I'm not going to mm -hmm. say what you should or shouldn't do, but basically 
you're going to have a way better chance of succeeding if you were to use the dice in the chaos pool. So with that, you're at, you are now at the train station. Uh, there's a, there's a very rotund looking woman there who seems to be boarding the last <laughs> of the guests in. It's not. There's a, there's a, <laughs> And she's Gladys like, all right, chance. last call, everybody. Anyone who wants to <laughs> go back to Africa oh. so you can exit the park for the night. Hold that train, woman. Except to her, it sounds like, wow. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just in the distance. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. I, for, for, for ease of sake, uh, ease of sake, I'm going to assume everyone here knows how to speak human English, so you can uh, communicate. Okay, so she understood okay. the even word. So, so Gladys turns around, for it is Gladys, and um, and she turns around and she squints, she's like, what is that? A bunch of small children running up towards me? What, where, where, where are your parents? Uh, uh, <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> I feel like you're the speaker of the party. <laughs> Tubs, I like nudge you. Nudge you forward. I assume you're in front. Hey, you're picking the lead there. Hello! Tubs is in the lead. We are simply small humans, not child humans. We do not need accompaniment. However, <laughs> uh, kids. we would like to get on this train oh so God, that we can be taken to the mystical lands of Africa. I, oh, okay, I... <laughs> She, uh, Gladys is squinting and she's like, she pats you on the head. She's like, well, you do feel furry like a small child. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I, 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 I'm not actually driving any vehicles today, so I don't have my contacts in. Uh, tell me something only a child would know. Um, sweetness makes me very <laughs> excited and makes mother angry. <laughs> She goes, Premium yeah, Mickey Bar! Not... Premium Mickey Bar! <laughs> Die Hard is a Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> Social media's you... fine! <laughs> Wanna make what it about you? <laughs> okay, okay, that all, so that, that all sounds about right. That all sounds like things children would say. Okay, um, everybody get on the train. <laughs> She loads. She loads all of you onto the train, and um, and the train starts starts going. Um, so I think now might be a good time for all of you to take a moment and plan your method of uh, getting to the rest of the park because you are gonna get off in Africa. However, you oh, you still got <laughs> you still got. For the record, um, I think it's fine to say I'm currently trying to switch all these cameras, and it's very <laughs> new to me. Um, so yeah, you're gonna arrive at Africa at the top there, next to uh, Kilimanjaro Safari's area. Nope. Nope. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I no, forgot yeah. where Kilimanjaro Safari's. Um, so what's your what's your what's your method of attack now? Well, so far. I don't know if I've ever been out of the affection section in my life. Does anyone know the way around, or should we just follow the human paths? I mean, I'm sure WDWNT might have like rented you for an event at this point in your life. Pin, pin, nudge, nudge to anyone watching. Guys, write that down. Write that down. That's yeah. gold. Let's <laughs> <That's> rent <laughs> clubs. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, That's all I got. I just to make the joke. There are maps around, right? We can get a map. Oh, yes! Those Do we know how to read? With the markings. Dealer, have you I ever made a paper? I made like a few. Like, your, yeah, indeed. Your, your times in the in the holding, the night holding area? I mean, you've watched Die Hard, you've watched a bunch of movies. Have you ever watched any Animal Kingdom live streams? No, so I can't say that the, uh, the the folks who work at Animal Kingdom live stream Animal Kingdom into <laughs> the park while they're working there. Um, <laughs> Worth a shot. Could you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> like, you just go into the affection section, and then up on the screen is just, like, Tom's live stream, so he points the camera at it and makes a loop. 
I I watched a lot of like so my goal in life is to like be interviewed and like get my name out there as like a publicist for my brother and like promote him recruiting Die Hard. So like because of that, I've done a lot of like people watching and I've watched them like use their phones and stuff. So like maybe I've seen them have the the Disney app open and like scrolling around the park like would that be sufficient for me to have knowledge of how the park works, Goatmaster? I would say that somebody has probably dropped a park map at one point or another, or left their phone out with the <laughs> Disney experience open, and then went over to pet a goat. I'd, I'd say it's reasonable that if a goat could read a map, <laughs> that if you, we that you have been... English, we can that one of you might have some cursory knowledge of the parks. But patron. you projected a map into my mind. Like, anything's possible. <laughs> I mean, if you actually want to summon up some kind of park map, I, I'd really love to see you roll for that. Um, okay, I'll roll for that. <laughs> what could go wrong? Summoning. It's fine. This would just be base, though, right? It's just two dice. Yes. Okay, well... That is two sixes. Oh, oh my gosh. You, you, <laughs> tell you me how you sum, you are about to summon a physical park map into existence in your lap. <laughs> tell me how you do this. Okay, okay. We're talking about maps and how we don't know how to get around. So I close my eyes and I remember the dream I had where my goatly patron came to me and told me that I can use magic powers and um, that someday I would need a park map and I simply needed to believe and then I would have one. And then I open my eyes and there's a map. <laughs> what, what does everyone else see? Does a map just puff into I feel like existence? it's just, yeah. No. Or, or like maybe, always been there. No, I think what everyone <laughs> else sees is I is I cough and a map that I ate earlier comes out <laughs> of my, on my lap. God, so oh, in your mind, you're like, oh, and to them, it's like, <laughs> like a uh -huh. map. <laughs> Look, a map. A map. All right, cinnamon. Um, you feel you're... okay? <laughs> Amazing. You have a part. You have Great a part as always. Now. All right. Um, as you uh, the the train then reaches the station, and Gladys is like, "All right, everybody out! This is the last train. No one is no one no train coming back to to Raviki's play to watch, unless on the off chance somebody forgot something before the park closes in the next yeah, hour that, and twenty minutes. I will hold this train." You hear that, guys? The train's not going back unless someone forgot something. They can't take us back. Wait, oh, we we'll find a way back. Then. They forgot us. We forgot the art oh. bark. Does that just, count? Just remember, all we gotta do is turn ourselves in, and they'll take us back. That's how that works. We live there. They'll put us back in the pen. Perhaps. Look. Uh, Tubbs, Tubbs puts his head over the railing and tries to direct all the other goats' attention. Or he, like, sits up on the edge of the... the, the <laughs> he sits up on the edge of the railing uh, and, and uh, looks over. And uh, uh, he, he motions down to the, uh, uh, the tracks and says, Perhaps we could simply follow these. Look, the, the spinners of the thing that moves are attached to this. Perhaps it goes where this goes. <laughs> Does he not? Does he not know what a wheel is? Well, how, why would he need to know what a wheel is? He's Fair like, enough. <laughs> he lives in the effect. <laughs> All right. That's... Now, if there is like a wheel in the affection section, that, then then I'm more is of the there, fool me. Is there balls there? But a sphere is not a wheel. Uh... <laughs> so you're That's saying cool. that those or are like narcotics? Somebody, somebody get in the chat and tell us. So it's anyway, <laughs> so you're saying anyway. that those tracks might be like air ducts, but open on the sides. <laughs> okay. So a tunnel? Yeah. No. 
it's just it's a an road. open it's, tunnel. It's, it's called a road, right? It's a road. Okay. <laughs> a road. A road. We can call it a road. A road. A road. Come to right the now. This might be the best episode. We need to get to Dino Land. <laughs> And according to my map, it's a little sticky, but according to my map, it's over here that we have to go. We're gonna go and I don't know Island. what distance is like, but um, well, if where are we? we are the size, you... if we are the size of these Do little animals where pictured are? here, then we are quite small. This is going to be a long journey. Can any of us read? Ooh. Yes, <laughs> I can read. Speak. I can read. Okay. Oh yeah. Where are we? You definitely could. I I'll I think we're up by the pictures of us and I point to the top left. <laughs> there is indeed a picture of a goat up there. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> <They're not. laughs> okay, Does that I follow us when picture. we move? That's me. <laughs> I, I point at the picture of like, let me see. I'm the. Uh, it says we're Yeah. Okay. So the that's animal. That's a picture on the of a goat. Is, that's what I thought. I'm yeah. gonna point at that with my hoof, and I'm gonna oh, say, "This is Lord us." Excuse me. <laughs> What did Thomas just say? Lord yeah. <laughs> the first goat. Is that a thing? No. Yes. I, just, oh. I mean, Baphomet, yes, is a real thing, but yeah, uh, he was the first goat god to come up. Oh. I okay. guess it could be Pan. I I but, point at our I don't little like icon. <laughs> so we're learning more about cinnamon. Uh, so this was us. And then, and then I point where we got off the train, and I say, "This is us now." But there's and no goat point... there. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. To be brother. fair, none of these you other animals trust are me. moving. Look, <laughs> you should here. trust me. We've clear. grown up together all our life. I I'm I trust you. Them. I'm just confused. Well, I... just leave everything to me. I'll okay. make us famous and rich. We'll get out of the zoo is yet. This... What is this blue circle thing? What is this blueness? I believe that is that's called... water. We yeah. drink it. Oh yes. Oh, oh that makes sense. I know. Oh, this water. Water. I drink it is so much clearer now. So blue. Yes, water is not so... usually blue. <laughs> yes. Um, so we need Perhaps to get the park empty at this point to the other It's side. It's getting there. It's almost empty. Okay, so I just want to be clear. We have taken the train across, right? You have taken the We're across. In Africa. You've taken the We're train. In to, you're in Africa. Okay. At the top left of that map. And <laughs> Dino Land, you didn't say it's okay. on the bottom right. You've been there. You know that. I know. Oh, I, I was also clarifying because I, I, I wasn't clear on whether we had, uh, whether the train had actually taken us. But... Yes, you have yeah. gotten off the train. Okay. And you acknowledge so... that there are tracks which are somehow oh, like vents. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, we're not going to we get need... anything done sitting around. Yeah. So I should say... we just walk? Oh my God, Alex. Yes. <laughs> let's follow. Let's follow the human path. Uh, the road. And... Hmm. The Road, yes, the Road, uh, and we shall, uh, we shall go to Foop. Foop. What? We shall Foop. Foop. Right here, under next next to the two people and the wheel human, uh, and the 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 Aid. And the wheel human. What? The AED? There are the two humans standing side by side, and then next to them is Ayed and uh, a foot. Are you, are you pointing to the thing that looks like a tree? No! The two humans standing next to one another. Okay. But is there a fast pass icon on the map? In, I don't know what I was looking at. In Africa, <laughs> just underneath Africa, is a foot next to the AED and the two humans standing next to each other. 
<laughs> Are you talking about the number 24? No! The f- underneath, underneath that number. <laughs> underneath 24 is 25! <laughs> Tubbs, no, are you looking at a different map? <laughs> Tom, I need you to get out of character and explain to me what <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, it isn't. Sorry, it was a different map. Are you looking, did you pull up an image there, of a map and it was different than the one that I put up yes, on Yes, mine apparently was from 2016. I don't know when yours is from, but <laughs> this, is, this, this map from 2016 says that there is a fast pass just underneath where number 24 is on Canada. Not Canada. Africa. We're in cold no. right now. Canada, my I favorite. have an idea. I have an idea oh, about boy. how to go that incognito. Was a waste of time. <laughs> that was an idea how to go incognito. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Where on this map? Sorry, one moment. Where on this what? map did you see the fat the foot? So okay, it's twenty three on this map. Underneath twenty three, where the other on the other map. Okay, so uh, Harambe Market. Yeah, I guess. Okay, let's all <laughs> let's just take a second. Let's all get back in character. <laughs> okay. I have an idea about okay. how to go <laughs> unnoticed through the park. And I, I like any way to protect identity. So you see the humans recently have been wearing these things on their faces. Maybe we should put things on our faces and then people won't recognize us. Ooh. And we can just <laughs> is... walk through. They won't even Do notice. Do we wear them on our ears? No. Where the just goes are you over to hide your face. Just covers the human just your snout. S- your snout, and they oh. then they won't be able to tell that we have snouts, and that we're not humans. I love it because it would be rude to ask, "What's under your mask?" It like, rhymes. It must be true. Mm, Someone yeah. tell that to Eric, the Phantom of the Opera. Um, <laughs> oh, no. that's a terrible joke. He knows that. Uh, so some, you, you would have to say someone tell that to Christine Daae, because she's the one who rips his mask off. Sure. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Doesn't even know the own. I love that yeah, Phantom of the Opera fella. I love his aesthetic. Oh, they put that in the break room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <they're... laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone see Die Hard, Shawshank Redemption, and Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, no. yep. <laughs> okay. The guard's got um, weird taste, man. Hold on the rain. Different people. <laughs> What do you all think of that plan, then? I think that is a good plan. Can we get some kind of clothing or something to also... Oh, if we're going to the party, we need to get dressed up. Like a onesie or something. Like an Animal Kingdom, like onesie or something. So we just look like we're wearing like little symbol onesie party outfits. I think it it might be time for three goats in a trench coat. (gasps) No! They're never gonna know it's us. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. <laughs> me and, Alicia, me and uh, Akili are small. And we I'm are. big. We can and ride I will carry on you, you, Bueller. Can we then get one of those wheeling things? One of those things with the circles that go around. <laughs> oh, and the other yes, two of us you. can be in it. The one like that the humans small put their humans. In. It's yes, genius. Perfect. Yes, we're doing it. And we will wear the Yes. And like we're gonna plan on... Well, you are in a... so you are in Africa. There's plenty of There's a store uh, over here, plenty... right? There's, there's a plenty store. Of shops. Yes. There's, there's plenty of shops run kind of by parking. someone I assume. We can just knock out a cast member. <laughs> <laughs> Tubs can bite someone. <laughs> I can headbutt. You can smell headbutt. bad I enough. Headbutt. I can imagine how they taste. <laughs> I can make a deal. You could make a deal. Or some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what store do we want to go to? Whatever. Well, What's the closest it? store? What's over here? That's, um... Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, maybe somebody can tell us what store 
is within the direct vicinity of Harambe <laughs> Village Market. <laughs> is oh. it? I, oh my god! I, mean, I wish this. Oh, map or is there some? Is there? Oh wait, I can't. Some can't move over. over here? <laughs> uh, it, it appears. There it is. It hey. appears that there is uh, the the Mombasa, Mombasa, Market. Mombasa Marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> or is there stroller parking and we can steal a stroller? Ooh. Yeah. For, well, there for would be the stroller parking outside Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. Yeah. I've stroller seen just leftover strollers. Yeah. Can we steal a safari truck? <laughs> no. Let's oh I don't think that's going to get there. there. <laughs> Do you want to start by like, going to the next shop? Time, let's go to the shop. Let's. I say let's go in the shop. We might find some fun things okay. in there. Shopping. Okay. Um, you go in. You you head into the Mombasa Village Market, um, and as you walk in, there's there's a person behind the desk, and they 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 greet you. Oh. <laughs> Hi. You're you're here kind of late for a bunch of small kids. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Uh, oh, bye. those kinds of kids. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. We wish, we wish to purchase clothing. Oh, um, I i don't know if we have any clothing. I mean, a I guess. A coat, sir. Clo your finest coat. I guess, I guess we've got some in kid size. <laughs> kid size. <laughs> no, no, we need an adult size. Thomas begins looking around the shop for uh, 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 masks, uh, and uh, uh, does he find any? Do they, do they sell, like, themed masks in the various uh, gift shops? I'm gonna say oh, yeah, we, we, we've there got there three packs masks. of the masks for, for the Animal Kingdom. Like, you, you there can, might also yeah. be masks at the counter in case, uh, like, a, like a medical type face covering that ah. might be available in case you happen not to be wearing a mask. Tubs hops up on we... the counter, knocks, knocks the, <laughs> uh, the the masks onto the floor. Hey, you you could have just asked. We we can give you those if you need them. I don't need your help, human. <laughs> and uh, he, he starts uh, uh, trying to get the masks human? on. Uh, fellow human. How do you fellow do, fellow human? kids? Fellow kids. <laughs> I am a human. I would, I would like to. I, I put my two front hooves up on the counter to, to talk to this cast member, and I say, "Hey, man, <laughs> if you want, I can get these guys out of here so they stop causing trouble. We just need to make a deal." Um, yeah, that probably seems like a good idea. They're making kind of a mess of the place. Okay, so I just need you to promise that when you die, I can have your soul. Um, <laughs> no. I already okay, sold guys. that to the Walt Disney Company when I started here. <laughs> guys, we can trash this place. <laughs> hey, I, you wanted some things, right? Like, I can just help you get stuff. Okay. How do we acquire this I this guess if stuff? you just want to be helpful. I mean, <laughs> you know, you know if the can, options are you know cleaning can... up a mess and you taking everything, or me just giving you stuff, then I'll just give it to you. You know who might Ooh. be able to convince him? <laughs> you learn. Your mirror shot of that. That would be great. Suddenly, you, you've been pretty quiet the whole time. Like, uh, what are what are you thinking? Well, honestly, I think that these guys are just being kind of rude. Honestly, like they're making a whole mess of the place. Like, if you if you want to just have things go away, I think like helping helping us out. Like, I'll I'll try and get them out of here. If you get us a couple masks and a trench coat, is that is that too and much? And a stroller. And a stroller. Oh, and a stroller. I almost forgot. Yeah, we we dig the stroller too. Well, there are plenty of strollers outside, so you can just kind of <laughs> take one of those for sure. Like you'd probably help us out by moving it closer to the front of the park, because like we're all the way back here. Uh, I'll get you some. Ma like the masks are on the floor. You've already got those. Um, I can see about a big coat. Uh, I'll look in the back goes into the back. 
Yeah, yeah, we're all just gonna sit here in real time for ten seconds while he looks at the battery. <laughs> See? You're I, nice I, to I people, they behave themselves. You don't need to kill everybody, you don't need to make a mess. People can cooperate. <laughs> He comes I back. Put on a mask. Okay. I put on an Animal Kingdom branded mask. I would like to put on a Navi River. Or they have the Pandora themed ones now, right? So I, I Pandora themed mask. Yeah, I think they have those all over. Actually, yeah. I want one of the ones that looks like Mickey's mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was gonna say that we should have one. I I mean I'm uh Leia decides to take a mask and begins to gnaw on it. <laughs> and then, uh, oh yeah, I then eat putting the on actual mask. The mask is in. <laughs> I'm just gonna go That's ahead a and do a second one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> oh. Okay, and so everyone coat, now has. Did they get the trench coat? I've, I did, we didn't have a trench coat in like stock, but there's there's a uh, Fred's Fred's coat in the back. He uh, he's he's busy off getting more mayonnaise for the fridge and. Uh... <laughs> People keep taking his mayonnaise. I swear I don't understand why. There's also. Uh, I don't know. So there's a Kevin hoodie. This is like legit sold in Disney. Uh, it's like the feathers of Kevin and it's a zip up hoodie and then it's got like the front and it's got his like whole head thing going on and there's eyes and there's like antlers so if they have one of those in like a la very large size I feel like we could make that work as well. And that's sold in Animal Kingdom because I almost bought it. Ooh. Yeah, oh, no, damn, that's like, just just Check www.nt.com should we Leia just gives the storekeeper a cabin animatronic and climbs the manage bar and she begins to eat it. Thank you. That's it. Oh, so it if you oh have gosh. one of those, like we will also take somewhere. that. Ben's a wizard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a very easy thing to find. There aren't many of them out there. <laughs> Okay, sure. I could I could write that up as a as a, a magical experience for y'all, and uh, I'll start cleaning up the rest of the mess. Bah. Good. Bah. Bah. bah yourself. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a give you a third one of those as you exit the shop. <laughs> um, okay. I also so... picked up some sunglasses. I got the mayonnaise. Sure. Fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Are, are you gonna, oh, it looked like you were about to eat, eat that. It. Yeah, don't eat it. I, I, once, it. I once saw a man on YouTube eat an entire jar of mayonnaise in about two minutes. It was It unpleasant. might not have been a mayonnaise, it no. might have been vanilla pudding. They do that sometimes. No, it was. Yeah. It, 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 it seemed pretty legit. It was too raw and unflinching to be uh, anything but a jar of mayonnaise. But anyway. Like anyway. <laughs> I didn't I, Anyways, okay. your, cha your chaos pool is now up to three. <laughs> we and, need to steal and, a yeah, stroller. Yes. There are some so, free strollers wait. just sitting outside that haven't been reclaimed yet by security. So I feel like it should go like Bueller on the bottom, and then Leia, do you want to be like the middle goat, and then I be the top goat, or do you want to be the top goat and be like the face? I feel like you're better at the face because we're a little chaotic. <laughs> yeah. And then we zip ourselves into the hoodie. I think that. And then am Who's I in the stroller? <laughs> no, no, no. So it well, would be it would be Bueller, yeah. and then me, and then you, and the stack of goat. Can can you be on the very top because you're really good at standing on things? So you being at the very top might be a little bit and better, just, as yep. opposed to you being in in the middle. I'm just saying that that works. And then we zip ourselves into the Kevin hoodie, and we are a tower of goat, and we all are masked. Because wear your masks. <laughs> okay. And, and Tubbs I and I are like... going to get into the stroller. Yeah, and then we're going to push you guys. <laughs> like, we're your parents. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was going to say, I'm gonna, if I know, I'm in the middle so I'll I can head in the bottom so that way I can. Forward. Ah! Oh! I, would, I, can I was going to say, I can, I can gnaw a hole in this 
undercarriage in the bottom, stick my legs through, and run oh, along. Oh, you can and, uh, We got our Flintstones this, it. yeah! Yes. Nah. Yes. Okay, who's, who's on the bottom again? <laughs> no, no, Bueller. don't take that out of the uh, Who's on the bottom of this goat stack? <laughs> no! <Bueller. laughs> I did this. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, Bueller, I want you to give a... I want you to give a base roll then, I guess. Well, don't, don't advantage because those... chewing through thing. Oh uh, no, that's Can't disrespecting that barriers. Not yeah. Yeah, that's also not you. You are stand on things and die hard. I was trying to help Tubbs uh, to remember your ability. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm 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 working on you. You uh, you all as the goat stack. Tubbs, <laughs> I think he's trying to chew line. a hole through a thing. <laughs> all right, Tubbs. Tubbs, you uh you you're trying to chew uh, a hole through the bottom. I want you to roll um, d two four d fours four d sixes. Sorry, for your base and for making a mockery of physical barriers. Okay. <laughs> How, okay. Well. Uh, six four three three. Uh, uh oh! You got two. That's You're good. good. Okay. Yeah, Tubbs choose a hole in the bottom. Uh, can you give me a, a a little action of that? Uh, yeah. With sound effects, please. With sound effects. So so Tubbs. Uh, uh, first he as all as all good animals do before they start gnawing on something, he gives it a sniff. Uh, and then and then uh, <laughs> uh, he uh, he begins to uh, uh, chew away at the bottom of it. Uh, Chewing out uh, four holes for his legs to go in. Uh, uh, that way he can still sort of like do his best to crouch and hide in the little basket part. Uh, and uh, uh, with that, uh, he uh, he slides into place uh, with his his uh, his hooves in each four of the holes, and he gives whatever the goat equivalent to a thumbs up is. <laughs> <laughs> One yeah. big hook in the air. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um... Uh, Cinnamon, how are, are are you joining him in there, or muted? Cinnamon, okay. here you did. I was muted because I was blowing my nose. Uh, it's a double stroller, so surely I can just also sit in it. Oh, Fair I don't enough. need to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, let's get this goat stack underway. Uh, ben, I want you to roll just a base roll. Okay. Uh, do I have to tell you if I want to use Chaos Pool before or after I roll? If you want to party hard on standing at the bottom of a pyramid, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say you need to let me know if you want to party hard on that. How does one party hard on that? What does that look like? Hmm. I can't wait that you just get the three want... extra dice from the Chaos Pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I am super excited to have I like I haven't done a two goats a three goat stack before it's just been two this is exciting for me this is my first time doing this I am I am all about this this is this is my second it's favorite just thing like to do this is going to further your stunt goat career exactly this is perfect sure for me so we're going to we're going to we're going to party hard here um and we are gonna get three successes. Six five five three three. Okay, well the chaos pulls back down to zero and you I are helped. able to stand you are able to stand completely still in place. <laughs> right, are you on your right. This is important. I think this is very important. I is got it, this. Are, are they on your shoulders or on your back? Back. Yeah. Okay. Back for sure. Because then we would be too tall. <laughs> That's a very deep person. Um, <laughs> uh, don't judge us. <laughs> <happens. laughs> um, all right, who's next? It's Al It's a uh, Leia, right? It's gonna be me. Yes, it's gonna be Leia. It's gonna be me. It's gonna all be right. me. Well, I guess it's May. You can roll four d sixes because of your smallness. Okay. All right. I'm gonna have to go ask Google. So I'm rolling four. All right. Mm -hmm. hold on. Yes. Four d sixes. Four D sixes. Four. No, not forty-two. Okay, here we go. Okay, I have 42. five, six, a four, and four. 
that five is or six four or four successes. Four? You're, that's, yes. You you do a flip <laughs> as you jump on top. Do a flip. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I just uh, I perfectly let you stick that landing. I am vibing this yeah, so hard. Yeah, you do. This is a goat tower Keely, is looking real good. You got six d sixes you can roll. Okay. Because you are base your smallness and also standing on top of things. Yeah. I only have two, so I'm gonna roll a bunch, so just count with me. Alright. Okay. One. Three. Four. Five. Six. Three. Don't look at me like that, Goat yeah. Master. I said you can roll six of them. That was three I successes. I did, I rolled two, so two, four, six. Yeah, and I got three successes. Oh! Oh yeah, you're good. Yeah, we, yeah, we were counting oh, successes, okay. not the roll on the die. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> you I was also do counting, a flip, yeah. And then you strike a JoJo pose. <laughs> <laughs> die, doggy. All right. So we got we have. And then I zip up I the hoodie. Remember. And then my I keep face shows. I'm this. We have three goats standing on top of each other and two goats <laughs> in a stroller. So do you do you just continue on the path? Where what's your plan? Yeah, we just go to Dino Land now. Just go. We got this. Just, we're walking. I think so. We're basically at the party. We own the place. <laughs> successful. Okay. And I feel like we have you're... to kind of work Sorry. in tandem to like walk the, like so like uh, Tubbs and Cinnamon have to like walk the stroller, and then we have to kind of like grip to it and walk with them, or we all just fall kind of, like, down. Bite the. Like yeah, the perfect. Yeah. Yep, yep. Just well, that, that's going to be mainly arc. my job on bottom, then, just keeping pace with the stroller, then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I thought something was wrong with someone's mic, but I can now see it's just a very happy puppy. It's just a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very happy puppy. It's a very loud dog. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we are about well, you know, we're well. Let, this short is break. Our... Thank you for watching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all, right, back the, all right, back to the game. You uh, so as you are walking along the pathway, you're now passing by Expedition Everest. You're making your uh, you're making your way past Asia, and uh, you stop at the there's an ice cream cart actually standing right outside mm. of the theater that's there, and a character mm. is like, okay, there you go. All right, have a good day," he says to the final guests that are walking by. He's like, uh, "Any, any, any last minute guests want an ice cream before before the park closes?" That's gonna melt before we get back. It's gonna melt, and then we're just gonna give him a melty popsicle stick. I I feel like so I, we I, should I, steal I, the whole cart. I th I no. think we can do that either on the, the way back, the party? or we can pick something up at the park. <gasps> I, I thought we were going to pick something up at the party. Yeah, they're going to But if we brought the, the ice cream to the party... How are we going to get it there? We already have the stroller. I oh, also sell cushions. little freezers. What? Tiny little... What's <laughs> 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 those things called? There's like hot cold bags or it's like you can keep anything in it? Insulated bags. Oh, maybe in I the stroller. I also sell insulated bags. Maybe in the store oh, hey. there's something, or like a cooler or something, right? No, we can't have coolers in the parks anymore. There's like the no. insulated bags. Where did we get this so maybe again? in the stroller is already something. We, we, we stole it. Stole 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 from, from Africa. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. The 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 attendant is like, oh, hi, hi there, folks. You wanna you wanna buy some ice cream? Bye. Sure. Yes. <laughs> Aren't you? Aren't you all? Aren't you all? Little, oh no! Never mind. I was gonna say aren't you a little young, but uh, <laughs> yes, I'm referring yes. Really to oh wait, the I'm, I'm the one at the top. Uh, hi. Hi there. I'm Darnold. <laughs> ice cream. Uh, ice cream. Ice cream. We want. Yes, we would like some. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, your, your, your child is so articulate. <laughs> he really is. Le Leia reaches into the uh, uh, basket part of the stroller and finds that there's a, a couple of bills underneath and uses her, her teeth to kind of hand them up to, uh, to Keely. 
But I feel like but it, very, like, but very, because, the very, I'm hiding so they yeah, can't it, see like, doesn't exactly face. hit, it, like, hits, like, kind of, like, my chin, kind of, and it's just kind of, like, whacking me, <laughs> and I just kind of, mm, and I give it to her with my teeth. Oh, okay. Let me just uh, go ahead and take that. These are very wet. What, what, what do you do? What do you do with all these? I guess you went on a, a Cali River Rapids. You know, you're probably all wet under that trench coat. I'm going to stop. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, let's <laughs> ignore that entire part of the interaction. Um, he's like, all right. Let me just uh, cash this up here. Uh, there we go. Is this your first time at Animal Kingdom today? Did you have fun? No, oh, we've been here all our lives, and we have enjoyed it greatly. <laughs> It feels like we've been here our whole All right, lives. Then. It feels like it's a, it feels like it's been an attorney. This little one over here needs a nap. <laughs> He's a special boy. Uh, and I take the bag in my mouth and I just kind of like <laughs> drop it down. What was that? And I, like, I think you check it. Yeah, it has the bag open. <laughs> Perfect. Slightly. And it catches perfectly in there. <laughs> All right then. Are, uh, oh, what bring? Are, did you spend the whole day here, or are you with the party? I start walking on? away. I, I assist <laughs> in the walking away. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back then. Bye. Oh, Bye. <laughs> Bye. Um, as you're continuing on past the theater, right near the entrance, uh, you see two guards with a duffel bag, and uh, a third guard drives up in a golf cart. They ask, we already did the heist it? episode. They say, do you have it? Yeah, it's right here, they say. And they toss the duffel bag onto the golf cart. Good. I don't want to be late and upset the constant. And it drives away, leaving the two security guards alone, blocking the entrance to Dinoland USA. Well, that was weird. <laughs> the, you guys saw it from the stroller, I'm assuming, right? Like... These guys are yeah, the terrorists. Yeah. A terrorist? Oh my god. What's a terrorist? This is taking its different They're turn. the people that you shoot in Die Hard. <laughs> we don't have guns! Yeah. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> we could get guns! Shoot with spit? Like... <laughs> that was the most innocent! We can get guns! <laughs> I forgot to give you a chaos pool die because uh, Tubbs threatens the, the ice cream man when no one was, was really paying attention. Dang it. Um, so we need to get past these security guards. Um. Die hard? Now, something I did think of, not necessarily helpful in this situation, but I was like, maybe, you know, instead of being a child, I should have been, like, a service dog. That might have been a bit more passable. Not a lot, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's not a terrible like idea. Just something to throw out there in case we need it later. Hmm. Um, can we, can we tell them that... That something is going on somewhere day. else so that they die hard. <laughs> I, I agree, but I don't happening? know. I don't know how to. What? What, did, what do they have on them? What do they have on their person in terms of like yeah. tools, weapons, things they would use? There are five I, of us and two of them. Okay. Yeah. Like, I have an idea. Okay. Okay. We take the mayonnaise, we dump it on the floor, right? <laughs> Hear me out. They slip and fall on the mayonnaise, right? right. And then as soon right. as they do, we just rush past them. Do we bring the duffel Sounds bags like with us? Plan. I like that. No, the duffel bag's on the golf cart. Do we take the golf cart then? The golf Ooh. cart the is golf driven cart away. Uh, oh, yeah. Mind. Sorry, why, why are you going to assault these guards? We need to get past them. Oh, They're in the way. I, assault them. I just want them to accidentally anyone. slip on a condiment. <laughs> did I say Did I say they were in the way? Yeah. I, that, they, they, they were, were guarding the entrance to the party, I thought. Yeah, that's what... That they were, you said they were at the entrance is, of Dinoland. That is, that is correct. My apologies. I'm <laughs> sitting here like... Why are they just deciding to attack two random guards? Um, <laughs> we can talk to them. We no, let me just, talk to them. Really just Keely. Okay. You want to talk to them? Yeah, I'll talk to them. Okay. From from let's, down there. We all, 
wheel the stroller no, around. I'll just go we'll on my own. It. Oh, oh god. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's a plan. Wait. That's a choice. Oh, uh, oh, hello. Um, are you here for the party? Can I, can I see your passes? <laughs> Tell them we are here for the party. We are here for the party. Oh, did that go? Did that child just <laughs> go plead? I don't, I don't know. People coming in. I would like to hypnotize super, the security guard. Super rich and weird. With my, <laughs> I would. <laughs> I would like to hypnotize the security oh, okay. guards with, with my loud bleating. My beautiful right. bleating. I'm gonna have to um, roll 4d6s. <laughs> oh my god. Can I not roll 6 for that? Because it is hypnotizing and also I am bleating loudly. Oh yeah, sorry. I, I got confused. Yes, okay. you roll 6. Okay. Let's see. That's 5 successes! <laughs> oh my god. Tell me how you hypnotize <laughs> this, these guards. Um, I just, I bleat loudly over and over again, and it's, it's just so unnerving. And I'm standing like perfectly still, and I'm staring into somehow both of their eyes at once. My eyes go in different <laughs> directions, I guess. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, and also I'm wearing a Mickey Mouse mask. Then that doesn't help with the whole <laughs> image we've got going on here. And while I am bleating loudly, the rest of the gang is able to just walk past. All right, as, as you you're hypnotizing them, then, and they're like, <laughs> like their minds are just being like, uh, yes. they just start like, eventually they just like they knock their heads into each other. And they fall to the ground. Excellent. <laughs> this is our I chance. To go. And, and with that, um, you are now free to enter the party. Wow. <gasps> do we do it? Do you? I have to move in. We walk in. Right. I think we need to walk in. And as oh, you wait, enter wait. the party, I want to look over at Bueller and I'm like, we gotta like, wait. Do we unstack? I guess is my first question. Because if we unstack, we gotta There's go. There's still in, humans like, there, though. I don't know. Oh, okay. Are they accepting of, of, of you, goats at their party? They said this is an only humans allowed party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll stay in the. They stack, were very right? specific. Why would they pick? I have an idea. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but a lot of times at like these parties where these humans, you know, they have parties, but they booked a party specifically at Animal Kingdom for a reason, guys, right? Oh, maybe they want animals, go. right? And a lot of times, sometimes with what they have is they have live animal encounters at parties because humans, for some reason, uh, like to pat us on the head. So maybe they're now gonna just I... that we're part of the party for, you know, that somebody specifically asked us to mm -hmm. to, to add to that they did specifically pick dino land so maybe we should pretend to be dinosaurs oh Ooh. my gosh i like it because if they wanted goats mm -hmm. they would have come up to rafiki's planet watch and hung with True. us Good point. how are you gonna pretend to be dinosaurs Oh, I wait. don't know. I saw that <laughs> movie. <laughs> Jurassic. Jurassic Goats. Park? It's Jurassic not Jurassic Park. Now I do ba, remember ba, ba, a goat ba, 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 in that ba, ba. movie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we could pretend to um. be like recreating that movie. We, mm. it's like the gates open, and we just like hear it, and we just embody like a barata are, are there any other animals near us? No, the, there's a sign oh, out yeah. front that specifically says only humans allowed. No, no, I, I, meant, I meant in the adjacent. Very specific sign. 
tubs, you should eat the tide. I believe. Oh, there's crocodiles everywhere. Right? Yeah, there's Can we release the crocodiles? <laughs> That's exactly Aren't there some in front of Restaurantosaurus? Yeah, around there. And then there's some other, there's another animal, I think. I forgot what it was, though. But there's some kind of crocodile in there. I have heard tell there. from the, the humans that there are some scary dinosaurs here in Dino Land. Can we just, like, release them as a distraction? Yeah. I don't yeah, think they're real dinosaur cinnamon. I don't think they're. Yeah. Can we maybe like wear their no, skin? No, they're they're real dinosaurs. <laughs> they just don't that. move that much. I don't know what it is, but these dinosaurs okay. don't move as much as the ones in the movie. Hmm. Weird. I don't think they'd go anywhere, even if we let them out. Would your deity make them real? I could ask. <laughs> <laughs> I could ask. Let me just bring them up. Hello? You have the dinosaurs <laughs> come to life and it scares uh, them so that. much that they all leave the party and then it's just us? And then it's so then that's not a fun party. Us. How yeah, are we gonna yeah. talk to the press and recreate Die yeah, Hard for everyone if we can't have anybody right. watch? You're right, Dumb you're right. Um, I need to- I heard there was an heiress here, I need to dance with her. You don't want to uh, scare her off too early, yeah. I do want to hobnob. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So no releasing the dinosaurs, but wearing no. their skin is not off the table. That's what I'm hearing. Mm. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, yeah. Do you think perhaps there is an area where the regular humans don't go, and where the uh, the the humans with the same clothing do go? The ones that, you know, look after us. Like how we have the part where we go into when it's time to sleep, and then we have the part we go into when it's time to see the foul, stinky little humans. Yes, yes. Perhaps there's one area like there, that way, and then we just have to grab those things they have to show that they are uh, part so, of the team. An indoor human pen. Such as the one that plays Die Hard. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. They keep they keep their badges in there. That's how they, that's how they operate all the doors and stuff Thanks. in Die Hard. Is their badges? So we need to get their yeah, badges. Yeah, but they don't bite it. They don't bite. Like, I wouldn't put it, um, in it, but you know. Perhaps it now might be helpful. Now there were two um, security guards that we knocked unconscious. I knocked should just taken their badges. We should have. Oh my gosh! How could we not no. have taken their badges? I mean, I don't. They're think They're still we're right that far there. Away oh, we, we need could, to double back. Really I did. take their badges. Double back and loot right. the body. Who's got the bat? Who has badges now? Me. Who, I, I think Bueller can. He's closer to the ground. Do, do do the guards have any sort of ranged projectile weapon? Uh, no, they do have, uh, telescoping wands for smacking people, though. We I could make that, that work. I Money? take the badges yeah, and that. Take that. I can just headbutt people. It's the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so you now have a badge and a telescoping rod. Uh, Cinnamon <laughs> also has a badge, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you two are disguised as security, essentially. Very, very furry security with... Yeah. It's Disney, it's so they fine. Can't tell that you're not hu human. Check, check furries off your bingo card. There you and, go. Um, <laughs> I think I'm it might a, help I'm if I dog. read you... I think it might help if I read you what is in the party first. Yeah. Oh, okay. That might have, that might have helped quite a bit before. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as you enter the party into Dinoland USA, there is a DJ booth playing some bomb tunes while lights flash and spin on a color-changing dance floor on the ground. There's a stage set up in the middle of the land, just outside the entrance to Triceratops spin. There's a buffet table set inside the dinosaur treasure souvenir shop. That's all the one on the right there. And there's cakes and canaps and uh, hobnob biscuits. Uh, there are waiters walking around serving fizzy wine. There's a journalist for the Tattler blog, who's walking around taking selfies and photos and tweeting them. There, some guests are making their way into a large enclosed tent. When they come out, they have a slip of paper. And as they leave, they hand it to this man in a black suit and get like a goodie bag of some kind. Oh. So that's what's going on at the party. And if you do want to talk to specific party guests, 
later on, let me know. I can tell you who's walking <laughs> around. Does anyone see an heiress? Like someone there, uh, really rich. There, there is an heiress. Uh, Lady Doyle, an art critic, is walking around. Oh. What sort of uh, uh, ce any celebrities walking around? There is a uh, there is there is Ralph Kenny or sorry Ralph Kelly. He's a hand model, but he's also a talent agent. Hmm. Where's where's this individual frequenting? Uh, he's he's friends? over by the bar, uh, eating food or the buffet table, eating food with uh, oh. little tiny. Uh, what's it called? Toothpicks, so he doesn't ruin his hands. I'll, ju I'll just tell I... you who else is at the party. Uh, Harry Chavez is a painter. Uh, he seems to be hobnobbing around. Poppy Chen is the journalist for the Tattler, who's taking the pictures of everything. Uh, <laughs> Eliza Vetta Butler is a world-famous librarian uh, who's on the dance floor. And then there's that man in the suit uh, who seems to be running the show as it were. Oh, and the I DJ is Pete Bueller. Bueller. <laughs> Of the DJ is Pete uh -huh. <laughs> I bump Bueller and I point out Poppy, whatever her name was, and I say her. Poppy Chen. Poppy Chen. That's the one I heard about. We gotta yeah. impress her. And I think I found my Hans and I gesture at the, uh, the guy who's running the show. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, Leia is very excited about the. Was it the hand model? What's his name? Hen was it Henry? His, his, the hand model is named Ralph Kelly. Ralph Kelly, because everybody knows that Princess Leia loves head pats. And what could be better than getting head pats from somebody that is, in fact, a hand model? Mm. So I'm a good shot. Of, I'm gonna. Oh, I forgot. Go There's also there. another man. There's another man in a trench coat with a beard and sunglasses who appears to be walking around as well. Is it another stack of goats? Ooh. Is it, it the yard bar? That guy looks like this. <laughs> so are we in the party? Yes. Yes, you okay. are in the party We're right now. It. You're standing We're at the entrance it. of Dinoland USA where this party is taking place. I feel like okay, we well, should... I think we made it, so... Do we disembark off of our goat stack and, like, try and go our own ways? Or do we help each other? Or... I, I think we need to help each other some, or they're gonna just kick us out, because we look too much like goats by ourselves. And if That's they say no animals allowed, point. they're gonna be suspicious if they see something animal looking. Why do they hate animals so much? We look so what cute, though. Tent? We're so cute. I don't What's know. We, we've had plenty far? of parties without humans. Like, I, I get it. That's fair. <laughs> we did just <laughs> celebrate <laughs> Willie's birthday. A lot of parties. Did we celebrate Willie's birthday? You didn't even know. I really oh, like that guy. <laughs> uh, we now go... <laughs> We now go live to Willie's birthday. We take a trip really quickly back in time where you're all singing happy birthday to Willie. Whoa, oh guys, thanks so much for coming to my birthday party. Hey, Where's the free hey, hey, hey. Of course. Thank you for yeah. inviting us. Sing the happy birthday song. We can't do it. Oh, my uh, Water Universe. Baba. 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 That. We go back. We go back to the party. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> we go back to the party. Okay, so what do you? What do you? Who should we maybe go one at a time and decide if anyone wants to team up and pair up? I want to know what this trench coat one is. I'm so curious. Can we go just like sniff at can, him. Can we All have together, the, the three go goats in the trench coat go investigate the other totally not three goats on a trench coat? Yeah. You know what? I want Tom to. Tom's gonna stay. He's gonna stay. He, he, I'm gonna, he's gonna stay in the pram. And he's gonna. He's gonna Fine. keep an eye out for when humans are watching him. So that way, every time no one's watching him, he runs along and moves. <laughs> and then, yes. and then uh, uh, he's just in a different place every time. I okay. am gonna simply um, st 
stand behind the pram, the stroller, wherever it is. <laughs> <laughs> They're all, it's all the same word. Okay, so um, <laughs> so Tubbs and Cinnamon are waiting by the stroller. Leia, K- Keely, and Bueller are now approach the man in the trench coat, and he mm. goes, don't, "I don't want that music, no one." Uh, and he goes, <laughs> "I thought it was me." Oh, yeah. Are you are you with the other are you with the other team? Are they in position? Yes. Yeah. Uh... Hey, are you even are you even part of this? I, I, I sorry, I just I, I just assumed because of the the trench coat. He pulls his beard down. It's where it's I'm spring leaf a caster. I'm undercover here. Are, are you not undercover as well? Clearly. <laughs> Yes, we're, we we're pretending under- that we're goats. Uh, we might have gotten our wires crossed. S- Springleaf Acaster sees. He's like he looks down. He's like, that's a great disguise. You're you're pretending to be goats. God, the makeup is so great, and, and he gives you a scratch on that. He's like, it even feels like a goat. That's incredible. Okay, I our makeup artist is telling us. Uh, Remind yes, us. But why don't you give us a refresher? <laughs> he goes, okay. I've had to go over this six times to other people, and I think that they might be on to me. I've been investigating this party because I think this might actually be an illegal animal auction. But just keep it in your heads, okay? And he, it's got dark. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I saw the sign, and it was like, no animals allowed. And I'm like, that's so suspicious. So I got in here. And I, and I, I think the, the bald guy in the suit may not have noticed me. I think he's, I think he's this, the constant, the guy who is in charge of everything. So listen, if, you, if, you're with, if you're with my team, I need you to keep an eye out. I have, I have three men with tasers stationed all around this place. If they're waiting for a signal, I don't know what that would be. I would, if you can make some kind of big, crazy gesture, any kind of signal, and they'll move in on all of these, all these people. I don't know who's in on it. I don't know who's not. I'm hoping some of these are people just happen to stumble in on this. Maybe, maybe that's the point. Maybe, maybe half of them are part of the animal auction, and half of them are think this is just like some party, like the like the blogger lady. She may not know. She may just think this is some kind of party she's she's covering. Also, she's suspicious. I don't think she even is eating any of the food she's taking pictures of. But anyway, <laughs> that, that's a whole separate matter. You're with me, right? Totally. Um, absolutely. Yes. Of You'll know. Uh, we'll we'll make the distraction. You'll know when it happens. And uh, we are just going to. Uh, scope out the party uh, to see who's around and pick the best uh, uh, tactical advantage point at which to spring ourselves. Uh, and, and somehow Tubbs is now human. away from the stroller. <laughs> and no, we're definitely as well. We're definitely not goats. Just we're so just you disguised know. as goats. We're yeah, really I, good though. Yeah, I know. I know. Really good. Though. I'm assuming that's another agent. In the stroller. Yes. <laughs> the yes. one who was talking to me, and the one who's who's on top. What are you? What are you? What are you oh, they're even. <laughs> this one's even wearing a badge. I don't even realize that you you're pretending to be security at this place. Why don't you just move? It goes that deep. We're that good. There's layers. Wow. We're like you thought it way harder than I did. Onion. Or no. Okay. I mean, if there's can an illegal a, animal auction, a... what better way to infiltrate it than to be animals? But we needed to get in in the first place, so we needed to be guards to get here. I I just want to to headbutt the bald man in a suit. Can we have a goat circle? Can we specifically a a bald man? Fake goats only talk here. Goats, yeah, yeah, of course. Goats. Um, Springleaf Mm. Acast sort of stumbles off and starts uh, trying to chat up the librarian lady, Eliza Betta Butler. So, that guy sounds crazy and like he's trying to ruin this party. Mm. <laughs> Am I right, guys? I wonder what a taser is. It sounds delicious. Because mm. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, he's, 
he said illegal, and I was like, that sounds fun. And then he was like, selling animals. And I was like, I don't know about that. But also, like, I just am here to party. I'm not here to, like, save animals. What kind of animals? Weren't they, weren't they selling small animals in the, uh, in that shop with the man where we got the masks? There were Those the, are the little ones that dead. don't move. They moving the little ones, they don't move, and they don't smell like animals. So maybe he just got confused, and it's just those those little animals again. The human world is very confusing, I can understand that. The human world is a mess. <laughs> Life in affection <laughs> section. Is better than anything. Anything that <laughs> they've got out there. Um... Okay, well maybe we should circle back to that plot. <laughs> <laughs> we and just talk make to our goat else? dreams. Do you want to make well, our goat think, dreams yeah, come I mean, true? Before we ruin this party, I'd like to make our goat dreams come true. I think that would be wise. I, I have an idea for for Keely and I to accomplish our dreams. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I know. Do, do you want to start with us? I well, I I want I want to just at least outline this. I I don't necessarily yes. think we need to go first, but just so other okay. people know, I think I think what what we might want to do is you. I know I know you wanted to talk to them about me and to advertise yeah. me, but I think this is bigger than me. You have the chance here to break a story to a reporter about an illegal animal trafficking ring. I think you should break the news to that reporter about what we find here. That's not a bad should idea. Right and now, I think, though? Well, once later. once we have some information, we don't have much of it yeah. yet. But what, we can go live on the TikToks. Yeah. And, and what I can do yeah. is for the signal for everyone else... You know that scene in Die Hard where they cut the power to the building? <gasps> you could I'm gonna not go through. find the power panel and just kick that thing in. Cool. What bigger signal than just the power for the whole area goes out? Just goes out. There's gonna be so much chaos pulled tokens being added to this. <laughs> <laughs> so those are that's I'll my ideas. It. Okay. All right, let's do a few things before that, though, because yes. there's probably a few yeah. things that we want to, we want to, you want, Cinnamon wants to have a nice dance, and we can't do that with the lights and the music off. Mm -hmm. No. Well, you could, but. It's more like a seance at that point. <laughs> well. You might be into that. <laughs> lights off, they too. can't tell we're ghosts. Um, do you want to start with getting your head pads, Leia? I do you think that this would I be able to get head pats from from this hand bottle if he I mean don't you want to just hobnob to... with the rich and famous or is it specifically I head pats I all of the above <laughs> while getting head pats I mean there's not much more well... you can want out of life hmm. as a goat Maybe we should go around um, clockwise and make sure everybody can take a look around the party, do what they want, each in turn a little bit. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's start with Allison. Uh, so, okay. Leia. Yes. Where, uh, where do you want to start? There's plenty of people walking around this party. Um, well, I think... You know, there is uh, there's some food over there. I smelled some food, so uh, that's going to be where my I'm gonna follow my nose first. Oh there's yes, definitely Ralph, Ralph people. Kelly, the hand model and agent is is, go, is at people. the buffet table. Yeah, there's always people hanging around. The food you have, you got some people and you've got some food. It's a perfect place for me to get started, I think. All right, so, so uh, uh, you you wander over there. And Ralph Kelly is currently delicately using some toothpicks. He's like, <laughs> I committed to that. Oh, hello. Are you 
I, I, I've never seen you around these parts before. Hobnob? <laughs> they say offering you a biscuit. I, I very, very gently um, take the biscuit uh, with my mouth as he feeds me the biscuit very gently. And uh, I slowly chew that delicious but thank you. Yes, Mwah. there you go. Put that biscuit right in your mouth. Mm, chew, chew, delicious, isn't it? What a strange party we've had. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He was so he was smiling. I didn't That's want to interrupt. So I needed. So what? So, so what? what do you what do you do? Oh, I'm a hand model, if you couldn't already tell. I've changed voices like six times. I'm a hand model, if you couldn't tell by these these delicate beauties down here. I'm one of the reasons that the sign says no animals. They they no. like to get snippy, if you know what I mean. Not you. Oh, you ate that no. biscuit perfectly fine. Of course. I mean, who would want to damage some uh, beautiful uh, phalanges such as those? Oh, that's exactly what they're called. You know your fingers. <laughs> I do, of course. Uh, I feel like I've seen you. I feel like I've seen those those hands uh, in the. Have you done the commercials or? Oh, I've done. Where have you, you, you been it? Name it, and I've done it. Name Die hard. hard. <laughs> what was that? Die hard. The film. You know, <laughs> you know when Bruce Willis reaches for his gun. <laughs> Me, baby. <laughs> no, Those are my hands. They that say Simon you? Pegg was the one doing all the hand action in uh, Hot Fuzz, but really it was me. He just pretended. <sighs> oh, terrible. Everyone's terrible, and I'm... Well, you could tell. These are these, these beauties are beautiful. But yeah, Absolutely. I'm a... There is, I have one tiny scar right here where a hideous anteater tried to bite me <laughs> Nothing once. that a little makeup That can't. was earlier today. But it's okay, I what smacked happened? him quite hard, and <laughs> well, he left me alone after that. Tell me, yes. tell me about it, I want to hear it. I, oh, I just did. Do you want me to go in more so, detail? Oh, I was, you can tell me whatever you want to tell me. Oh, yeah, so, so I, was at that, I was at that dreadful place, the affection section, uh, when, when I was walking around, I was, I was, given, all, was given little scritch scratches with the toothpick to all those horrible goats, and then uh, there was this anteater, and they're like, do you want to pet this anteater? His name's like Billy or Spilly or something hideous. And, and well, you know, I was like, I've never touched an anteater before. I'd like to cross that off my bucket list. There's only 17,000 other things on there, and it's not touching other animals. But I'm like, you know what? Let's give this one a try. And sure enough, the little 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 thing give me give me like a little nibble right here. And I so I just say I, I took my hand back as you do and just yeah. He did, he he wasn't bugging me after that. <laughs> Oh, I've never. So weird I've that never. Had an anteater I've never named Billy, and we know an aardvark I've named never Willy. heard. I've never. I've never heard of this this anteater before. I don't associate with anteaters. Aardvarks, Aren't though. Anteaters? You know. Aardvarks? Are they not the same? <laughs> no, they are not the same. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I meant aardvarks. I meant aardvarks this whole time. My it's apologies. okay. You're a hand model. This, you yeah, I'm a hand model. I don't need to know these things. Aardvarks and teachers. I don't watch children's programming. I never learned this stuff. I watched uh, my parents' money fall in my crib or whatever. <laughs> wow, that's an absolutely fascinating day you've had in a career. Um, are you here alone? Is there anybody else that we can, uh, we can, you know, Am I here up alone? Up a com <laughs> You're never alone when you've got ten of these babies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he goes, no, 
Oh, of course, I'm the only one here. Most people, most of these people are here entirely by themselves, which is why I'm looking to connect. You know, it's almost like if all of us weren't here, no one would miss us. But anyways, I would watch the food, by the way. I noticed a box of rat poison behind this buffet table, but I'm sure that's just to keep all the rats out, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, Tata, whatever your name is. <laughs> all right. That well, guys, a, I don't. A, I know that I don't need to talk to him because he already doesn't have his soul. So like, there's <laughs> nothing he can give me. Have nothing accomplished. Um, Leia, you do notice there is a couple boxes of powdered rat poison behind the table, uh, mm -hmm. and above it there seems to be because it is like, uh, it, it is a pretty rundown, rickety type building. There's a couple of ceiling vents above the catering table. You know, air ducts, <laughs> air conditioning. It's not that surprising. I figured I would point that out just you, in case you or anyone else might might have a thing about climbing through I, vents. Do I see anyway, that? <laughs> you don't. Leia sees it. I do see it. Uh, I'm just taking in the scenery. I just make note of my surroundings so that I can uh, help my uh, fellow goat friends accomplish some of their goals at the party. Maybe there's some other people, some more food, uh, you know, and just kind of taking, checking out the uh, structural integrity of the uh, of the building. So I just kind of take a, a walk around the building, give it a few little headbutts to see how everything's going. <laughs> much like, uh, much like, much like Dwight in that one episode of The Office where he just checked on the house. I know that because uh, the, some of the zookeepers like to watch this. this they watch this The show. Office a lot. Yeah, <laughs> they like love The Office, though. especially that they Muppet the version. Office. That wasn't terrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about your Muppet opinion. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to investigate at the buffet table, Leia? Um, what types of foods? Is it just the hobnob? There are, there are chocolate hobnobs. There are cakes. There are fizzy drinks, which the waiters are also passing out around the place. They come back here to fill up their trays before passing out more of that drink. Uh, of that drink. Um, there's also some cakes and canapes. Canopy? Can nope. It was Canapes. Canapes. Leia does not know what a canapé is. Scrupulous? Anyways. Canopies, they're what we stand under when it's raining. Oh. Are there unscrupulous? Specifically. Unscrupulous naps. Anyways. Yeah. Anything else? I'm trying to think. So we're in the gift shop, is that correct? Yes. You're at, the, you're at the entryway of the gift shop. The rest of it is being okay. used by the catering team to make the foods. Okay. Um, are there... I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, are Is the gift shop open? Are both doors of the gift shop open? The entrance and the exit area? Yes. Of the gift both shop? doors are open. Catering is using the back door to get in and out. Hmm. Can I... Can I confer? Can I chat with my fellow goats, or is this just a me thing? Any of other no, suggestions? You can go back to your group and tell them whatever you want. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my group and just kind of let them know what I've observed. Hi, group. Um. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we've Hello, got like kids. this buffet. We've got this buffet table. There was a guy that was standing there, um, but he just kind of walked off to go look himself in the mirror or something. I don't know. But there's like food, there's cakes, there's drinks, there's fizzy drinks, there's canap canapes that are there. Canapes, yeah. Canapes. 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 Uh, there's some, you know, the structural integrity of the building. I headbutted a few times, seems pretty sound. Entrance and exit both open. And we have some air ducts. Uh, be uh, careful no, though. What? what? There, there are air ducts? Yes. Air. I mean, that's just kind of the standard. Like, oh, thing. but you could get into the air duct? I don't see why you couldn't, although I did not see where the uh, other end of the air duct was. That's exactly what I want to find out. 
<laughs> I have to warn you though, gotta warn you, because really close to where this air duct area leads out, there's something that does not look or smell very appetizing at all, and I think it would make you sick. So, it's That's on fine, the floor. Bruce Willis doesn't eat anything the entire time in Die Hard. That's, I'm not eating any. <laughs> so don't, don't eat it. Don't eat what's on the floor. Don't, don't eat, eat what's on the floor. Don't eat things on the floor. Don't, I know. It goes against our oh, every oh. fiber of our instincts. Don't eat what's yeah. on the floor. <laughs> That's Shall all I have for you. Shall we move on to Tubbs' story? <laughs> all right. The Tubbs. Well, Tubbs side. Tubbs yeah. is going to look for uh, any raised <laughs> platform you can find. Something with perhaps uh, those devices you see the humans, they, they talk into it and it makes them louder. Uh, something similar to that, if not simply the highest point that he believes he can reach. There is a stage in the middle of the area near Triceratops spin with a microphone on it. Is there anyone currently on it? No. Everyone's currently dancing. All right. Uh, in that case, uh, Tubbs is going to lean over to his uh, goat compatriots and uh, uh, is going to say I, I wish to make a speech to the humans <laughs> I'm, I, see, I see the loud box the loud stick over there on the raised section of land uh, I'm going to do it but I'm going to have to do it as a goat what uh, what what is your speech? Tubs, what are you? What if they take what you? What are you speeching? I'm going to tell them the truth, and with that, uh, <gasps> Tub uh, uh, Tubs slides out of the uh, uh, what do you call it? Slides out of the the pram, Trailer. and he starts quickly moving his way around the guests uh, to get onto the stage. Oh my God! <laughs> Farewell, goat. This is my chance. They'll all be distracted. I start running off towards the air vents. We can process me later, but I'm just logging that that's happening. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just want to stand Bueller and vented. watch the chaos unfold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bueller vented. Bueller, Bueller, Bueller sus. sus. <laughs> all right. All right, Tubbs. So Tubbs makes his way up to the stage. And... Um, at the at, at being on top of the stage, uh, your hair looks great, by the way. Thank at being, you. are you writing something? <laughs> yes. Yeah. As Tubbs gets to the uh, stage, DJ Pete Carney's like, "Yo, yo!" <laughs> <laughs> DJ Pete Carney's like, "Yo, yo, everybody! Everyone, quiet down. We got a small child over there who wants to make a speech." Everyone turns speech. silent and looks around in confusion. Okay. So, um, before I begin, I wish I had like inspirational epic, music. <laughs> inspirational music. I'll, just have to, I'll just have to do it myself, and you'll have to add it in post. Um, <laughs> so, there is intention behind this speech. The intention of this speech is to uh, not whip the guests into a frenzy, but like get everyone going, get everyone hyped, get that, try and get that party going. Uh, so, uh, but here is what he's going to say. Uh, Tubbs taps his head against the microphone a few times. Dun, dun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> Stinky mammals, feed me! <laughs> oh no. I may be a simple bogan, but I have seen your world through you. Your rubs, your pats, your, uh, your brushes, and of course, your delicious garments. You come to my home, the place you call the affection section. I have seen you, and I have felt your rubs, pats, and brushes, and I have seen the strange illuminated boxes that you stare into, and from this I have come to a conclusion about you. You are a profoundly sad species. You are, uh, nope, where are uh, Despite your opposable thumbs and your intelligence, you are always far away and lost in your troubles. You have lost the simple joys. I think that is why you come to us. 
Uh, you cluttered your lives with words and numbers and forget that sometimes the greatest joy you can feel comes from gnawing on some dry hay. But fear not, humans, for we have come to remind you of your raw animality, to live on instinct and feel new heights of bacchanal delights, which is to say, let's get this party started! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are you the doing? No, but, no, this bit's going on for too long. Yeah, <laughs> 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 All right. Um, at hearing that speech, a different security guard, not Cinnamon. Um, thank you for the music, Ben. Um, thank you for getting it. To comes me. up, comes up to you, and just rips your face mask off and goes, <gasps> and the whole audience goes. <gasps> And the audience <gasps> gasps audibly. They go, an animal! An, <laughs> an animal! <laughs> <laughs> they, they seize you. And That's they, right. And they throw you into the white tent. Oh, no. <gasps> I, don't even, I don't even get a chance to like do, get some headbutts in there, fight back. Oh, yeah, sure, if you'd like to. <laughs> All right. Well, first I'm going to try and intimidate him. Okay. You have Back an off, two too? legs. This skull is thicker than your shin. Uh, <laughs> that is the best you can come up with. Uh, do I, should I roll for that? And can I roll it with my skill? Because it's uh, kind of charisma-based. Uh, yes. it's That would count as charming. Char okay. Intimidate is a charming charisma check, yeah. Yeah, like, but Tubbs' thing is that he's good at with people. Not necessarily good with people. Sure. He's good at talking. He's good at, he's good at asserting his, uh, uh, what do you call it? Dominance? Uh, uh, Dominance? Intention, yeah, Tubbs? yeah. Tubbs? Tubbs is the most dominant. Anyway, Tubbs is going to try and intimidate this guy. Fun fact. Wait, what was that fun fact? Oh. Tubbs uh -oh. is the, the, the most, uh, Dominant goat. one in an infection section. <laughs> is he the head goat? No. Yes. Oh. I mean, oh my gosh. There you go. That is He's old, so that makes sense. Uh, I did not make that roll. I rolled three threes and a two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they. They. <laughs> you're. You're. You're just thrashing. Uh, they. They grab you. They drag you. <laughs> you're bleeding all over the place. Bleating, not bleeding. Bleating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bleeding. Not dying, right? We've already um, been through a tub death scare once. I don't need another one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, so they're, uh, yeah, they're pretty much throw you right into the tent. Um, and with that, uh, I guess, accomplished. Let's move on to Cinnamon. <laughs> okay. Every, everyone does go back to dancing right after that. DJP Kearney's like, I don't know what that was! And then he keeps playing the music. Cinnamon, okay. what up? Okay, I would like to um, grab a couple fizzy drinks. Okay. So I, I do that. I'd want to smell the drinks and see if I can tell what they are. Or if there's anything off about them. Mm, or good call. if they're just chill. Just chill drinks. Okay, um, give, me a, give me a roll, a face roll, I okay. guess. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're going to use occultism to sniff. <laughs> <laughs> I bleat into the glass and it resonates <laughs> the smell up to me. Uh, no, I got two successes, so. Oh, you're good. Uh, as you smell it, you smell that there is nothing wrong with this. This is, this is just some fizzy wine, like a ginger ale or whatever reds is. Um, and... <laughs> However, with your successful roll, you can smell the awful stench of the rat poison right behind the catering table. Can I get to the rat poison? You're a goat. You can climb under and over whatever you want. Okay, <laughs> then I would like to climb under the table and get to the rat poison. Alright. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> we got a demonic goat going that? after the rat poisoning. What could go right? Oh, <laughs> no. I would like to put some of the rat poison in the drink that I have stolen. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Now what? There's plenty of people in the da on the, the dance floor. Harry Chavez okay. is a painter who seems to be dancing. No, I want to go. Pe I want to go see the heiress. Oh yeah, uh, Lady Doyle. Lady, Lady yes. Do Doyle, the art critic. Um, okay, I so go to she her. is currently talking to the bald man, uh, and then she turns uh, to walk away from him, and uh, she she sees like as you. She's like. Security! Thank you for taking care of that awful girl! Oh my god. Oh, oh, you're so welcome! Oh, oh god! You're a nasty lady! Would you care for a dance, <laughs> Lady Doyle? Lady, I, do, I don't know your name. Would I, would I care to dance? Oh, why, why, sure, it's a party! This is what we're here for! I do have to take That's care bad. of what's in that tent shortly, but I can spare a quick dance. <laughs> you know, I'm so dance. curious while we're dancing. Lovely. What's in the tent? What's in the tent? Well, as you, I mean, as you know, half of the people here are for a party. The other half, uh, let's just say, they're, they're certainly looking to purchase some goods. Well, oh. which, which part are you with? <laughs> well, I'm with the security. I'm just, I'm with both parts. Oh, right, you're surprising. Yes, yes, just normal goods, vacuum cleaner bags, and, um, uh, <laughs> cages, not cages. Um, what, what's, what are those things? They're like, they're like a bag with fried potatoes in them. Chips? Fish? <laughs> <laughs> yes, whoever said that, thank you. <laughs> Those things, you know, exactly. common things that, that the poor people might eat or use. Oh. I, I want you to know. <laughs> Have you always been a security guard? I, oh, uh, I have always <laughs> um, closely protected secrets, if you think of it that way. Ooh, me too. You know, I, I sell... <laughs> I, I'm an art critic, so I see some of the best pieces around the world. Sorry, not around the world. That thing's not real. Clearly, it's all flat. <laughs> if it was round, I'd be able to wear roller skates and go really fast and just do it all in one circle. But anyways, no. I mean, yes, not, not around the world. I've, I've traveled across the world, and I've seen all the most beautiful things. Art, I mean. Everything else is horrendous. <laughs> oh, just, of course, of course, of course. Well, you know, I actually am um, familiar with... I like, forgot we're dancing. Um, we're dancing, <laughs> yes. I'm familiar with some, like, secret underground, even more secret than what's going on here in this tent. I mean, like, that's nothing. Some stuff with where you can see like even more rare and cooler art. Ooh, you have? <laughs> how much? So As in I how much do you have to pay you to get this information? Right, right. So um, you actually don't need to pay with money. Um, <laughs> actually, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um, so actually, what? Without money, <laughs> everything costs money. <laughs> okay, so it's actually like you pay with something even cooler than money, like even um, more valuable than money. Um, it's it's just, more it's valuable like, than money. Gold. <laughs> <laughs> no, gold's kind of like money. Um, it's just like, it's just a little thing. It's just like, Bitcoin? It's just like, <laughs> um, Dogecoin. I just need you to sign this map that I have. It's the only piece of paper I have. So if you could just like sign that, just get your information there. 
And then we can kind of get you into this secret cool place with all the greatest artists, all the great Ooh. art. And all I have to do is sign my name? How? Yes. How, how exciting. All right, let me just get a pen. Uh, she like takes a pen off of another man who's standing near her and she yeah. signs the map. Uh -huh. Boy, this map is wet. I guess you were on those water rides before. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you for signing. That's so excellent. Um, oh, you're so, welcome. Um, yeah, uh, we'll be in touch. Um, I hope you're satisfied, but if you ain't, don't blame me. Um, <laughs> also, I'm never satisfied unless I'm thrashing a servant. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Jeez. And th this drink is for you, ma'am. This drink is for you. Oh, I love this. Thank you so much. I'll drink it once you've gone. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. <laughs> I'll go back to protecting this little operation. Thank you for your time, oh, ma'am. One, one, one moment. Ooh, this smells like a good year. <laughs> Thank you again. Ta ta. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my, my work is done. <laughs> um, that was good. Alicia, what does uh, Keely do? Well, so Bueller, I think, needs to, to cut the lights and cause a distraction, and then I'm gonna. Well, I. I guess I'll get your opinion, Bueller. But you're gone, right? I'm gone. You're yeah, he's gone. gone. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll just go break the news that there's some stuff going on. So I want to speak with Poppy. Okay. okay. You go and uh, you go over to Poppy Chen, the journalist for the Tatler blog, who uh, apparently, according to according to Springly Faycaster, doesn't even eat the food that she's reviewing. And sure enough, she's um. She's she's taking pictures of the fizzy wine in her hand, and then she's going behind the dance floor, and then just dumping it out. <laughs> um, so you catch up with her near the edge of the dance floor, or uh, behind the DJ booth area, and uh, and I guess she sees you and she's like, "Oh, hi. Um, that's not what it looks like. That stuff smells like." It was from a box. Um, what's up? I mean, I'll eat it. I, I don't get to eat a lot of, you know, nice stuff. So, I mean, you probably shouldn't spoil it, But that's not, not why I'm here. I'm like a really big people go. I mean, person, person. I am. I'm a really big people person. And I like. That's like you said go. No, no. <laughs> I'm. <sighs> Let me start over. I'm Keely. Sure. Hi. Hi. I'm, I, I'm Poppy. You probably I've heard been, of me. You, you're gonna hear of me soon. Um, I, oh? I've been fault. Yeah. So like, my biggest aspiration in life is to like get my brother famous. He's like oh. gonna be a really big director. And I heard uh -huh. that like you might be able to help yeah well <laughs> or, you know i i we can do the TikToks. i've heard that that's what the kids <laughs> buy i mean the the people talk about these days. <laughs> okay um well you know i don't just i don't just get people on my on, on on my Twitter and and TikToks, you know, I don't just do that, or at least not for free. Like, what are you gonna give me? These people invited me to this awesome party, so of course I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna you know take pictures of the food that I totally what if, eat. What if I told you that this party like wasn't this awesome, and that something was actually going on down here? What? Uh, Poppy looks around and is like, you know, I was I was thinking that myself. I mean, these people are crazy rich, but just look at the setup. And she points to the back of the DJ booth. She's like, 
all this is like the cheapest stuff. And believe me, I know what the cheapest stuff looks like. I mean, this power generator, <laughs> it's so old, it looks like it could even overload. Like, what do you know about this party? I heard that they're selling animals. Which is why they took that goat and they're gonna like sell him. So like oh you God. should totally get the word out, but then like as a thank you, like you need to support like me and my brother and make our dreams come true. I that's a pretty crazy accusation. I'm gonna need some proof. I can't I can't get in that tent. They only gave me one of these like social media passes. <laughs> they, they were like a dollar and they and they let me in uh just so I can cover the <laughs> So, I, I'm fired, by the way. Um, <laughs> so, so tell you what, if you can get into that tent instead of me, tweet it to me, send me it, slip into my DMs, and <laughs> I will talk to you at the end of the party. I will totes my goats slide into you <laughs> again. <laughs> Oh my god, you totally better. You never mind. I'm just gonna say like a formal. <laughs> you almost between. got it. Yeah, I got you. I yep. got you. Yep. Uh, and then, and then I walk away to my my goat compatriots that are remaining. Before you walk, before you walk away, you do notice mm -hmm. that the dance floor is hooked up. The dance floor, the lighting, the DJ booth, it is all hooked up to a power generator which is rumbling loudly and does look pretty unstable. Actually, you know what? Before mm -hmm. I walk over there, I'm just gonna walk over to that generator and I'm gonna try and bite it, nibble on it, <laughs> make it overload. It's dangerous. In some form. <laughs> okay. Um... Can I use the chaos pool as I do so? You're partying hard? I'm gonna party so hard and hope I feel executed. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> All right, uh, roll. I'd like you to roll your base and the chaos pool of three for a total of five d sixes. Okay, that's two, three, three successes. All right, you chew into the cable, which starts sparking horribly. Yeah. Um. It looks like it could either short circuit, or power surge, or explode. Um, oh. Do you want to leave it in this state? No, I want to... What if I try and stand on it? I'm good at standing on things. <laughs> well, I just overloaded enough. You are... I'm going to make Ty Hard happen. Okay, um, what is your standing on things thing? So four. So yeah, roll four. Okay. Two D6s. successes. Three successes. Three You're good. You jump on top and do a flip again. Um, mm -hmm. And strike some kind of goat pose. And the sheer weight of just a little bit of pounds of force on top of it, it starts to spark even goat. more. And instead of, it just shorts itself out. And everything at the party comes to a halt. The music shuts off. The, the DJ booth lights shut off as well. And DJ Carney's like, oh, 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 because he can't hear him. He's not on the mic. He's not on a microphone. He, you can hear him. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah. God, everyone. One second. The power generator's crazy. We're going to look into this. Um, <laughs> and so. And so. I think he would start beatboxing. That, at that moment, everyone is gasping and looking around. Meanwhile, Lady Doyle goes Wah! and then collapses on the <laughs> ground. Got her! Everyone, everyone starts getting around her. Uh, Pat Sp Springleaf Acaster goes, is that the signal? I don't know if that's a signal. <laughs> I, darn it, I don't know if I should tell them to go or not. And I Leia that, goes over to him and gives him a light headbutt to kind of nudge him to as a signal. Yes, that's the signal. That, that that's the signal. Okay. All right, Bravo team, move in. What? Dole whips. <laughs> 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 
uh, Springleaf Acaster then uh, decides that now is the best time to rush over to the tent and find out what's going on inside. And um, I guess, do you guys follow him? Wait, what happened? Bueller's in the vet. I want to get my Where, where is the vet? Oh! Bueller, <laughs> what vent did you go in? The one to the... It was it was the one that uh, that uh, Le Leia pointed out um, in the shop. In the shop, the yeah. Shops. Okay, so you oh, well then let's quick, quick, cut cut quickly. Oh my god, sorry. Let's cut quickly to your adventure then. So Bueller, I wish I had some action music queued up. Queued <laughs> up? You're, it's late. Um, Words are hard. So Bueller is now in the vent. And we, we just cut to him by himself. <laughs> Is that it? Is that the so, <laughs> so, <laughs> what was your plan once you got in the vent? So where do the vents go? The vent is going to drop you into the catering air section, like where all the caterers are making the food and uh, pouring the boxed wine. Okay. Um, where Where is that in relation to the tent? The tent is right beside it. It's what so I thought. So if, if I were to bring up uh, an image of the party, yeah, it's... Um, it's just yeah. to the right side of where it says souvenirs. So okay. uh, the far right end of there where the guy is standing at the table. Right. Mm. Okay. Uh, so I'm I'm going to pop out a vent uh, right back there. Um, but I'm going to try and do it at a point in time when there's not a lot of people watching. Like when they're, when they're all like working on the catering stuff or there's not a lot of people in there or anything like that. And I'm going to kind of We're getting just... into the catering area? Well, I, I kind of have to in order to get out into the tent, right? Okay. So I'm, I'm just yes. going to kind of drop out and then quickly get out of the catering area over to near where the tent is while trying to okay. not be seen as much as possible. I am I am maneuvering myself around this building with, uh, with great stealth to get to where I need to be so that I can take out... These horrible terrorists who have kidnapped all these these <laughs> innocent animals. All right. Well, while you're in the vent and you're looking down, uh, the bald man in the suit um, bursts into the catering area, and um, he starts yelling at the people there. He's like, "What is going on here?" And they're like, "I'm sorry, Mr. Huber. We're doing our best." And he's like, "Your best is crap." You got us the cheapest one of these, the, these, uh, what's it called? Power generators? Get this thing back. They're like, we're not mechanics. We're, we're, we're the catering crew. And they're like, well, you're doing an awful job. Something happened to Lady Doyle out there. She never chokes on her wine. I want I want you to figure out what's going on, especially if somebody in your group of caterers is sus. And they're like, yes, we will, Mr. Huber. It's like, good. I don't want anyone ruining this. I'm going to get rid of that thing for the most money possible. I mean, no, I'm not. I'm not telling that to you. I'm saying that to myself and not the catering staff who are not in on this. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of that thing with the most money possible or else this whole operation was a bust. And he leaves. I know. I know what's happening. I know I know this. They've they've taken hostages. This is, That's it. <laughs> they need to get taken down before they hurt anyone else. So I've I've got I've got the uh, the telescoping beat stick from the guards in my mouth. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> that needs to be drawn. Somebody needs to get. Draw. <laughs> Somebody needs to draw the Photoshop that. Guess who has time? So with with him with him back in the tent, I I drop out a vent and then sneak around the corner towards the tent. Uh, what do I what do I see over there? Uh, around the corner of the tent? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm trying to... My, my goals are to get into the tent, free the hostages, uh, Tubbs, and uh, kill uh, Hans, uh, Mr. Huber. 
which I now realize was a pun, <laughs> and I appreciate that. <laughs> a pun? What about it was a pun? Ha Hans Gruber, and his name oh. is Mr. Huber. No, his first name is Gronz. <laughs> Gronz. <laughs> All right. Well, you go over in the back. Is his name Rallin Ekman? <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. You go over in the back part of the tent, and there's a light inside of the tent, uh, which can only be seen on the back part of it. And there's a there's an animal cage, a huge animal cage with something inside it, and the very clear shadow of Tubbs, also next to this other thing. Hmm. So there are two things in here. Okay. I guess that makes sense. They didn't know Tubbs was going to be here. Um, do I know where Mr. Huber is? Currently, if you were to peek around the side of the tent, Mr. Huber is currently running up and yelling at Pete Carney, uh, for why the power has gone out. Okay, uh, so he's, he's clearly distracted. I'm gonna poke my head into the tent. What do I see inside the tent? Well, I think maybe we should take it to where everyone is, goes inside the tent, along with uh, Inspector Springleaf Acaster. Because as you head inside the tent, all of you come across not only Tubbs in an animal case, but also someone you recognize. Oh, guys, it's you! <gasps> oh, gosh! Oh, gosh, please get me out of here! Oh, they didn't even cage me up with any dirt! It's just a bunch of grass! No, get me out first! I've had to listen to its incessant whining for the past 30 minutes! <laughs> we're, clearly both, we're clearly both in this situation together, okay? If they, they, they're not gonna let us one at a time, they're gonna let us both out. Why do you hate me? <laughs> I'm so sorry that this happened to you. And, and who has, has as an apology, can I throw the ice cream to Willie? Oh. oh my god, you got thank you so much! Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know what sounds like. Okay. Um, While the art bark is distracted by the ice cream, let's get Tubbs out and go. Well, actually, oh my I god! Say, I'm before, getting him out! Well, Tubbs oh, oh. Tubbs can make a, a mockery um, of physical barrier, so that's what That's what Tubbs out, is going to can, do. Yeah. Now that now that he's now that he's recovered a bit from from being uh, snatched by the humans, he's going to attempt to make a mockery of this this ridiculous physical barrier they put him in. Uh, what kind of cage is this? It it's right there. <laughs> oh, it's, okay. So it's like it's like it's a, like, it's like a kind dog of cage. cage, essentially. It's it's like, why can't so, the aardvark just knock it down himself? He'll still be in the cage. I love that he's crying. <laughs> Anyways. I love to see uh, his tears. <laughs> <laughs> Tubbs is just going to try and headbutt the door to the cage open. Okay. Uh, he's he's going to wind up. He's going to he's going to do a few test butts. Dunk. Okay. Dunk. Okay. What? I need you to roll four. Four, Four baby sixes. I can I help Come because on, one of my things is headbutting. <laughs> do you want to do you want Leia to help you out with the headbutting? Let's see how I do first. Okay. Oh no! Six, six, five, four! Yes! Hey! Oh! <laughs> you headbutt it, and every single wire piece just shatters. Like when, <laughs> like when you, like when your Link is trying to get one of those, like, <laughs> you know, when Link touches the thing at the end of a shrine, and the blue yeah. thing goes and it explodes. <laughs> the whole, the whole cage explodes. Um, and I don't have an image of Willy without that. Take but that, hairless primates! Your cages cannot hold me. <laughs> Willie goes, oh, God, thank you so much. These disguised security crew members, they stuff, as soon as you left, they stuffed me in a bag and they took me here. I don't want to end up in some rich YouTuber's mansion. I just want to live in my dirt hole with my girlfriend. We got we to get out of here. But first, we need to take these jerks down. I've got a bloodlust. <laughs> I am on board with this. 
I think that hand model even said that nobody would miss them, so... And I already by killed this, one. <laughs> by this by this point, Springleaf Acaster has witnessed all of this. And, um... He, he realizes that you're a bunch of unstacked goats. And, <laughs> and, and, an, ard, and, uh, and an aardvark. And he's like... <laughs> All right, gonna be fair. Wasn't expecting any of this, but I think okay. I don't know what's going on. They say they're two minutes away. I, th I we we need to rally up as many of these people as possible. We can't let them get away. I just have one question: as a as some kind of federal agent or inspector, did you poison a woman? <laughs> I can say no. that I did. <laughs> I, you know what? It's better, it's better if I don't know. <laughs> now listen. You listen let's to that just say, let's oh. just say her soul is somewhere safe. <laughs> that that sounds like something like serial killer would say. Um, <laughs> we need to send. We need to send a signal. I got a helicopter crew standing by. I have an idea. I think the DJ booth has two propane tanks hooked up to a pyro cannon above the DJ booth. If well, I will help you, this is our moment. moment. I will help you get these Fire. back. I will help you guys get out of here. If some one of you or a few of you can also shoot that pyro cannon up into the air to let my team know that they can move in. Well, I think we're the goats for your, uh... Yeah. We're, we're on we're it. The goats for <laughs> More you. or less. We, we're the goats for you. <laughs> I want a t-shirt that says, I think we're the goats for your, uh... <laughs> we're, yeah. the, we're the goats. <laughs> we're the goats you're looking for. Yeah. Goats busters! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> We watched that one too. With the cast All right, who is who, who? Who's gonna go set off the pyro cannon? Who wants to do action the most? I mean, I think uh, I, I don't want to set off the pyro. I want to be doing something else when that's happening. I okay. The, oh. When when that goes off, he and uh, Mr. Huber is gonna be distracted by that. I'm gonna jump off the top of something and beat him okay. with this beat stick. <laughs> yeah. You heard oh an explosion going on oh. behind him. Yeah. I forgot the ending of Die Hard where Bruce Willis just beats a man to death. <laughs> <laughs> or until he's unconscious. Okay. You, you make do with what you can. <laughs> All right. Leia, the king of. <laughs> Leia, the queen of. Head, or whatever they are, of head butts is uh, gonna go take care of the pyro cannon. Um, in the meantime, I guess Springleaf Acaster grabs Willy the Aardvark, and he's like, where, where, where's, where's your, like, safe location? Do you have a... I, I mean, I know you're not cops or anything like that, but do, do you have, like, a safe house or a place I should... Like, we should all reconvene at the end of all of this? Secret well, the affection is actually... Oh. Secret tunnel? Mm. Secret tunnel. <laughs> Secret. Affection. Section. Tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna interpret that as the train thing. Um, okay. I will make- I promise you, I will make sure- I dropped the character. I promise you, I will make sure that this aardvark gets back home safe. What about all of you? Are How are you gonna get out of here? Don't worry Through about the that. humans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. By some stroke of miracle, the dance party music has started up again. Um, DJ Pete Carney is is getting ready to play some music. The dance floor is not working. The lights are not working. Meanwhile, confusion is still going on around the place. No one seems to be in the mood for a dance. Should have saved my speech until now. Meanwhile, <laughs> the constant, the constant, Grunz Huber sees Springleaf Acaster running away with Willie the Aardvark, and is like, "Who did this?" And he looks over and sees five well-placed goats just hanging out outside the entrance of the tent. What do you do? Get him! <laughs> yeah! Get him! Yeah! <laughs> 
swarm, swarm, swarm. Let's, yeah. swarm. let's headbutt. Swarm. I'm ready to I, headbutt somebody. I, I, I jump wanna, right at his face. Beat stick yeah, in my yeah. mouth. Shouting. I want to jump on top of him. I just, I just jump on him, shouting, "Yippee ki yay, mother!" <laughs> and just beat him with that stick. <laughs> Yippee ki yay, mother! <laughs> <laughs> he jumps on well, top, gets him down to the ground, and then we can start to do the headbutting once he's. And once then we down. trample. Cause yeah. We go, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna have anybody too. roll for that. I am, however, <laughs> just gonna. Since there are five of you, I feel like we need five of those. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so now goats are attacking everyone. Uh, a goat no, fight just, is... him. just him. Oh, okay. Just him. Just uh, him. Poppy, Ch Poppy Chen looks over to um, looks over to Leia, and she or uh, sorry, uh, looks over to Kelly Kelly Kelly. Keely. Keely. Instead, Keely. Instead of these happening, it's late. Uh, looks over to Keely and is like. All right then, bust out TikTok and starts <laughs> filming the insanity. <laughs> DJ Pete Carney's just like completely unaware of anything that's happening. Um, I do a TikTok dance. Oh, Leia, do you want to make your way over to the pyro cannons? Sure, I'm gonna make my way over the. Hold on. <laughs> ah, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm good. Alright, so, uh... The so, pyro uh, cannons are okay. on the DJ stage. On the stage itself, with Pete Carney. Yes, and I there are two propane tanks. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to dance with Pete Carney. Don't forget it. I do love to hobnob. <laughs> so, what if... <laughs> oh, no! What, what, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of, like, make my way over, you know? It's, uh... I, uh kind of give the DJ a, a little a little headbutt and uh, he looks at me and he's he kind of goes I didn't know there were goats at this party but he kind of shrugged it off and uh, kind of accepts it and uh, I start to to request some head pats and he gives me some head pats and he thinks oh it's just a you know a, a cute little goat so he doesn't really think much of me. I kind of saunter back there and uh, I look around. And then I decide to start. I pull myself back. I back up, I back up. And then I get ready to give these tanks the biggest headbutt I've ever given anything in my life. Okay. Um, do you want to roll for that? I would, and I feel like I should take some of that chaos Please. dice out okay. there. Yes. I'm going to yes. take the chaos dice. I'm going to party hard you. with Pete I need you to by my side. <laughs> I need you to roll 11d6s. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So good. Oh. All right. And Let's it fails. Do this. I swear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wouldn't it be great if they were all ones? <laughs> no, that would Wild. be awful. Eleven d sixes. Okay, let's yeah. see what we've got here. Okay. Two, three, three, <laughs> one. Oh no. Two. Oh no. Six. No. Okay. One. One. Three. Four, four, one. That's three. You got three. That's three. <laughs> That's three. Every out of eleven. You're, oh man, I'm glad good. we partied hard. Oh, buddy. you oh headbutt. Um, you headbutt oh. the the two propane tanks. One of them uh, bashes into the pyro cannon and launches off into the sky. Uh, somewhere along the uh, somewhere in the Asia section, as Pat, as not Pat Springleaf, Springleaf Acaster is trying to get Willie to safety uh, by the train station, where uh, Gladys goes, ha! Ah, fire! Never seen that before. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't she smoke? <laughs> <laughs> no, she just sounds like that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I drew her with cigarettes. Oh, you did, John. <laughs> 
<laughs> so there's a fire. fire. There's like a, two stones and just. That's fire. probably a safe. <laughs> 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 that's pretty crazy. Um, Springleaf goes, now, now, that's the signal. Meanwhile, the other pyro cannon, you headbutted it so hard, it gets knocked over and is now aimed at the middle of the dance floor. Particularly in the direction of uh, where the goats are beating up uh, Grunz Huber. Um, oh no. I, I try to, to warn them, I try to bleed as loudly as I possibly can to try to warn the goats to get out of the way. Move, go, get out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> That's, the way. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that you decide. Oh, I decide that? You would decide that, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Google. Or, or... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you suck. Um... <laughs> okay, okay, Google. Why, why is it not, it's not working? Oh, oh wait, oh. I know what I can do to roll a dice. I will just open up WDWNT, the app. Oh! And I'll just open up WDWNT, the app, and I will navigate to the podcast section, click on WDWNT, the RPG, and then just give my phone a shake. <gasps> 13! 13. 13! I'm going to go ahead and say that everybody hears, hears uh, Leia. And as you stand off to the side, Grunz Huber says, shouts out, I knew you damn goats would ruin everything! Which is a little specific. <laughs> <laughs> and, then the py and then the pyro cannon goes off. <laughs> and in slow motion, you just see... Mm -hmm. and yep. Yeah. <laughs> And you Lights, just see him. They're beautiful. I'm not gonna listen, everybody. I'm not gonna divulge the details of Grunz Huber's death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but before you leave this party, is there anything else you need to do? I have the, said my the piece. The humans music. did not listen. Say so we return to the affection section. Let's go. Like, that was a good night. Yeah. All right. Is the Aardvark okay? Is he okay? Yeah, he's all, he's yeah he out was taken back. We we're going to see when we get back to him. All right. Okay. So you all, um, you all, you all walk away from this party where there's a man on fire. It was funny. There is a horrible lady uh, poisoned on the ground. Um, the catering staff are just like, well, time to pack up. Uh, <laughs> DJ P DJ Pete, Pete Carney is still going pretty crazy there. And everyone yeah. else is running around trying to figure out and make sense of everything that just happened. You get back to the train station. And, um... <laughs> you get back to the train station. And, um, every... Uh, uh, a Springleaf Acaster is waiting for you. And he goes... I think, uh, I think it's pretty fair to say that my team is um, about to move in. Uh, and you look and see a helicopter with a searchlight uh, beginning to land in Dino Land, USA. And um, uh, during that, uh, Gladys walks over and is like, Boy, you're not really children, are you? <laughs> oh, no, no, we are Gladys. kids. Though. We are kids. We forgot okay. our, our parent at the at the affection section. We need the train to go back. Yeah, our parent. Bah. We forgot, we forgot that we live there. Our caretaker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, our legal yeah. guardian. <laughs> Gladys. Um, Gladys. 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 I also Gladys. Gladys, Gladys squints <laughs> and is like, "Oh, you tour security." Pointing to Bueller yes. and Simon. <laughs> and They're they, taking and, us uh, back. Yeah, they, we're they taking go, these goes, fine goats back to the inspection section. All right. <laughs> and everybody, including uh, Springleaf Acaster, gets on the train. You begin the slow train ride back. Willie's like, oh, boy, that ice cream sure was delicious, as if that's the only thing he took away from all of this. Uh, Springleaf Acaster's like, 
you know, we could use people. We could use a few goats like you on the force. <laughs> uh, Who couldn't? I will say, you are reckless, but I feel like I can trust you. <laughs> you work, do you work Absolutely. for the government? That's what um, you, you don't want to know who I work for. I work for this uh, crazy man who believes in aliens and his sidekick who has an alien son. Well, that would kind of... Is it Cosmic Ray? Aliens. Yeah. Yeah, it's Cosmic Ray. Uh, oh. the, the owner of Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe. That's exactly who... I, wait, it was the son Cosmic Ray? I don't, I don't, I'm the goat. You're the one that works for it. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one who asked me the question. Anyways. That, yeah, she asked you the question so she'd have the answer. So, <laughs> <laughs> turn back to Rafiki's Planet Watch. They felt like nobody would believe what occurred tonight. And everyone partied hard. I, I, everyone did. Everyone partied hard and did exactly what they accomplished. Well, at least until the next party rolls around. And that is the end of tonight's show. Yay! Hey. Don't go anywhere. We are about to have a very, very brief five-minute post-show after these credits just to say thank you to everybody who was involved in this and the madness that this became. So if you're watching this live right now on YouTube, stick around until right after the credits are over. We'll be back here in like two minutes to do a little bit of a post show. If this was your first time watching WWTDRPG, thank you so much. Uh, do hit subscribe and like this video because we want to know that you like this RPG and you want to see more of it because season two, the Tokyo Rift season is coming and you'll see a little bit of that in the mini post show. So for, thank you so much. Everyone say a great party, good night or woohoo and let's take it to the credits. Thanks Woo! so much everyone, have a great night.